plate, so I just threw it on. This is Dr. Greenstone. Welcome back to the channel. For today, I'm going to be heading back to Tamriel, Skyrim specifically. I'm going to be continuing my challenge. For those of you following me, you know that I'm doing 100% run. This is day 7. Where the hell is my... Oh, here's my controller, man. And uh, not just a 100% challenge, but we're going to be stealing all the booze. So far we have over 400 bottles like we did last time. But uh, I've been having continuous problems with inventory management. I keep running out of space. So today, I'm going to be playing... I'm, I'm going to be putting a halt putting a hold for now on uh, my uh, trek through Whiterun and the surrounding province. Instead, what I'm going to be doing today is I need to, to accomplish two things. Like, the first thing I need to do is I need to find the Steed Stone. I've gotten, uh, I've got maybe level 70 something uh, uh, one hand at this point. I don't need the Warrior Stone anymore, that's what I was rocking before. I don't want to do the Lady Stone because what I really need is carry weight. So I'm going to get the Steed Stone, and I'm also going to begin my pickpocketing challenge. You see one of the tags here is that no exploits, <laughs> no major exploits of any kind. And uh, in my mind, that also includes quick saving before I pickpocket. Hold on a second. I have... Sometimes this controller has trouble picking up here, so I've just got to get out my plug real quick. It has enough charge. <clears throat> I find that the easiest way... To sync this thing up, let's just bust out the mini USB real quick, hook it up, and that should take care of my problems. It's not taking care of my problems. What is going on here? There we go. Oh, shit. It's good to be back, guys. So, I'm doing pickpocketing for, you know, the extra carry weight. I need to get to level 50 today. So I might as well start here. If I'm gonna leave town, I'm gonna get chased out of it. Looking for my husband, Nazi. Oh, looking for your booze. Do you have any on you? <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Oh, dude, I got it! Got the lockpick, okay. Gonna try my luck here, we're going for the gold. Time to dip! Time to dip! Fuck! No, I can't assault the guard. That'll be extra damage. Can I talk to the carriage driver? Can I make it to the carriage driver without getting cut down? I know they're right behind me. Oh yeah, they're aggroed. On my merry way to Riften! I'm going to rack up one hell of a bounty by the end of this run, guys. Need a ride? Yeah, Where please, please, please. Right now. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Climbing back and we'll be You're my getaway ride. Come on, dude. We might run into some of them lizard folk. Oh, shit. We made it. <laughs> hell yeah, dude. Gonna get shaken down here. If I could, I'll persuade him. Oh, I've seen. I've been here already. I didn't even t need to take the carriage. Oh, whatever, man. I was still aggro to the guards. But I forgot that I've already been here. Before I continue my pickpocketing adventure, I need to join the thieves guild. Like I can come back to White Run. Like the guards will know me, but they're not gonna say shit. Well, they'll say I'm shit, but they're not going to stop point. me. I only have like 25 to dollar bounty or something like that. I can tell. How it's could he possibly do that? Your mark, Sounds a little quiet on my end. If it's too what quiet, let me know, guys. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, lad. Well, size me up. Maybe you'd like a taste. I find your hair offensive. How come you have so much hair and I don't have any? But I need the justice in that, dude. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. 
Simple. He's even a ginger. Darker red than me. Like, what the fuck? Ring from strong box under a stand. And those soft, that, silky, dulcet tones, man. Pocket without him I feel like I got the short end of the stick. There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. I'm ready, let's do it. Wait until I start the distraction, then show me what you're made of. Hold on a second, before I start, snuff. No, damn it, I should have stopped in what? I should have stopped in solitude first. No, not solitude, I'm thinking Windhelm. You need to hear this. Why Windhelm? Because there is a homeless lady that teaches you how to pickpocket there, but I missed my chance. I've already started this quest. I like. I think if I leave the area now, I'm going to fail it, and uh, I'm, I'm not sure what that would do to my gameplay. So I'm, I'm kind of locked in here, and I can't restart from the previous save. Well, because uh, I stole something. That'd be cheating. i got to live with the consequences, man. Oh, come on, please. All right, all right. This is how we're doing it then. Gotta make myself totally inconspicuous. Strip naked. Baldy plays. And how come is it that I'm like every generic white guy preset ever? Like, look at this dude. Like, really? This is a preset. I, I gave him a beard. I had a beard a few days ago, I just shaved that fucker off. Gets itchy once in a while, you know? Nah, if it's novice, then it's right here. There we go. I should have known. Hey, Sour Patch, what up? Sorry about that, man. Well, you know, it's a Bethesda game, so uh, <laughs> my computer crashed. <laughs> uh, like, I, I don't have uh, the unofficial patch, man. Nothing's going. Like, my, my computer crashed. <laughs> That's what happened, dude. Like, for real. I gotta readjust everything, man. Like, what the hell? You think I'm playing Cyberpunk 2077 or something? Yeah, dude! Friggin' Bethesda games. Oh, wait, no, and now my controller's off. Okay. So what have you been hearing about the cyberpunk game, man? I've heard that it's a fucking disaster. Oh, oh, oh come on. Please. Please. C computer, please. What are, what are you doing? Okay. I've heard that the rollout is a total disaster. It's a glitchy, buggy mess. And, uh, like, even 3080s are having a hard time processing it on it, like, 4K. Forget ray tracing. What's up? Just started. You can take it on the chat, babes. You need to hear this. She's just got to let everybody know that she's here. Yeah. I kind of anticipated that, actually. Well, I didn't say that out loud. It was a thought that I had while I was reviewing it. Because, like, there are certain games that I'm kind of sketched out about playing. It, yeah, this is how I gotta do it. There, there are too many people around, man. But I'm still gonna play it. <laughs> it's like... I have a mature content warning on my channel. I don't know if that's gonna save me, but... I'm still gonna buy the game, and I'm still gonna stream it. I'm thinking about streaming it on Sunday. I don't normally stream on Sunday, but that... 
yeah, it looks like fun. And I think one of the fun aspects about it is going to be picking through all of the major glitches. Like, I want to see just how buggy this fucking thing is, dude. Like, I'm expecting a complete disaster. Like, I'm of course going to give heads up and warnings that, like, if there's nudity or something, I'm not going to, like, zoom in on it. I, I might zoom in on it a couple of times. Like, I'm sorry, babes. But, well, y y you know... Should be fine. Oh, shit. Oh, who? Where? What? Okay, no one angered me. I'm fine. How did you get that there? No one's seen them in years. Is your disrespect for the laws of this land? Fuck! Time to face the yard. I got caught. Waste time. Damn. I knew I shouldn't have waited. I'm going out fighting. I gotta take my beans like a dumb guy. All right. <laughs> like, I don't know what happens if you fail this quest line. You would think that you wouldn't get. You you think that you're not allowed to uh, <laughs> go for final. Like you think that if you failed this quest line, yeah, that you wouldn't be allowed into the thieves guild. Like it's a one and done thing. But absolutely nothing happens. So that's kind of lame. Like if there aren't any consequences, why then what? It's just try until you get it. Oh, that's stupid. That, that's kind of stupid. Well, I can't quick save before I try and uh, plant this on branch shade, so... <laughs> I, I guess I might see what that dialogue's gonna be. I've never actually failed this quest before. And I have so much stolen shit on me right now, dude, I don't want to turn myself in. They're gonna take it all. Like, you pay off your fine, and they take all your money. And yes, I'm stealing this gun. No, I don't care. Let me get caught. Am I still wearing the... No, I'm not wearing the armor. Okay. Fuck. Who sees me? Who's snitching? Who's narking? Who? What? Where? You! Dude, don't you look at me! Really? That's it? Well, I guess as long as I plant the ring, it doesn't matter. If I get caught, no biggie. Still kind of stupid. It's like, if you flub it, like, then, then what's the point of recruiting me? Like, who would even trust me to handle anything in the Thieves' Guild? I, I I feel like that'd be a deal deal breaker. That's just me though. Too many people are watching me right now. My sneak is garbage. I don't think I can pull this off. I'll have to come back at night. Actually, I want to start Branche's uh, quest line. Yeah yeah, go ahead man. I want to start uh, Branche's quest line before I actually steal from him. Because if you encounter him in the jail cell afterwards, he's just pissed at you, and he doesn't want to talk to you. Just one. It was one of the great houses in Morrowind long ago. Yeah, he's Elven royalty. Was one of them or not? I'm uncertain. If you come across anything in your travels, they might provide me with the answers. I'm wondering who would frame this guy, though. Like, who'd want him framed? Nice to have you back, bro. Thank you. I could get rich and stop selling these trees. Okay, start the quest. Here we go, here we go. Just have to plant this ring. Oh, I'm totally gonna screw this up. I can feel it. 80%? <sighs> Let's do it. Oh, I made it! I see that my time is up. Come Hell on. yeah! Even rags would be preferable can to you. interest you in time. Or time. Or lack there. Damn. She, she's making fun of my... Waiting. Like, what's wrong with what I'm wearing? What's wrong with my lung cloth? Like, I, I think that I'm dressed appropriately for the situation. That's just me, though. Like, if y'all you you are complaining, I, I can put it back on. It's kind of cold out here. It's unflattering. Looks like I chose the right person for the job. And here you go. You're oh, it took me a couple of tries, but yeah, I here I am. The way things have been going around here, 
It's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. Yeah. My organization's been having a run of bad luck. Need some coffee I suppose tonight. that's just how it goes. I actually slept well last night. I don't know why you I need coffee. Job. And you more like well. I psychologically need coffee. First of all, there's more where that came from. Because it was in the if pot. You think you can handle it. And I don't have a lot of self-control. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, give me it give me it all. Come on, let's do test. it. The group I represent has its home in the ratway beneath Rifton. Well, a tower called the Ragged Dang. Dragon. Get that in one piece, and we'll see if you really got what it takes. Yeah, I can open that. Working at the Rift and Fishery. Next time I get a break, I'll open that. Put some coin in because I have to bring up Taskmaster to get out of the game. Mm, yes. Yes. He's got to down in the ragged flag. So first, I'm beginning to need to visit Brent uh, Grelka. You gonna buy Gotta sell some of my stuff. Just what you see here. Yeah, too much carry weight, and that's on the menu today. I'm not sure if you were there when I was starting up the when I was starting up the video bef before it crashed. But uh, one of the big goals today is that uh, I need more carry weight. I got to work on pickpocketing, and I need to go and get that horse. I, I need to get the steed stone, man. Like my my one handed, it's good enough. I don't need the warrior stone anymore. Uh, I don't. Well, I technically have a Twitter, but no one follows me, and I, I don't update it. <laughs> <laughs> For all extents and purposes, I don't have a Twitter. I, I do nothing to grow it. I should really... I, I should change that at some point. <laughs> well, I, it, it's hard enough for me to update Discord. <laughs> but, yeah, like... Um, uh, I have my uh, OBS automatically linked up to Twitter. Yeah, I know. Like how Shinra recommended uh, TikTok the other night. Oh, I'm, I'm I'm really not looking forward to using TikTok. My girlfriend's gonna give me so much shit, but he's right. I think that would be a good way to get exposure for the channel. And I've actually been saving all of my previous videos, uh, for the Skyrim run at least. I'm thinking about posting all those up on YouTube, just to have like a permanent archive. Don't bother with TikTok? Okay, thank god, that's all that- that's all I need. <laughs> if I just have one opinion that agrees with me, that's all I need to stay away from it. I'm not looking forward to it. Uh, scroll of fear. Or level 8? No, level 4, th these aren't really gonna help me too much. Call arms, Mike. Uh, Dread Zombie. And I can't imagine myself in a situation where I'm ever going to need these. Maybe Guardian Circle. Guardian Circle would be really nice. Hysteria is level 12, so that would actually be more helpful. Yeah, TikTok, you only want like 6 second clips or something like that, right? It's for kids with ADD. That's how I understand it. Do I have my dragon bones on me still? No, I don't. Like, where's all this carry weight? You see what I'm saying? I, I really need more carry weight. So, we're gonna go into the rat way. And I always get bodied by these first two dudes who are right at the front. <laughs> For some reason, these guys are so stupid. Like, they're stupidly strong. <laughs> Every time I go in here, and I'm kind of underestimating them a little bit, uh, and, and then they just punk me, dude. I knew it. Well, I, I'm wondering what their story is, too. What are these named characters doing in the rat way like this? Were they just like... Yeah, go ahead, Shinra. I'll be right here. Like, I'm, I'm thinking they must have been outcasts from the Thieves Guild. Or they might be, like, members or... Something. I don't know. It gets me curious thinking about it. Oops. Wrong one. That one. Oh. Yep, see, I got shot. <laughs> Alright, I gotta take them just a little bit more seriously. Think of vegetable soup for this area. 
Told you, dude. They fold me like a taco. Over here. And it's all the ranger that's doing the work. I don't need no potions. There we go. Ah, okay. That time was close. Pulled through. And all these guys an orcish bow. That, that's moderately good gear for where I'm at. Orcish arrows too. That explains a bit more. But this guy. Like he's just good enough to keep me from getting to draft. Alright. I think the crazy lady is in the other area, but this guy is going to be Bron the Fist. Going to get my unarmed gauntlets? Hell yeah. Might go back to White Run after this. Because I want to take out the steel plate lady. She might be a good follower. Better at traps, yeah. Let's do shrugs. I don't know. Fuck it. Uthgard. Yep. Her. Uh, garlic. Always like garlic. Garlic is good. Okay. Oh, he saw me. Yeah, he saw me. <laughs> He's stuck in the door. Gion the fist. Guy's name wrong. Oh, and he has Ring of Recuperation too. I'm actually gonna wear that. Yeah, that's a that's an RNG. He doesn't usually have that. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I don't think I'm wearing a necklace either. So let's wear both of these. Perfect. 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 Got to take his booze. Ah, these merry thieves. I got plenty of boots for me to filch. Oh shit, that does a lot of damage. That's why. Alright, so that explains a little bit of the carry weight. I have a second glass sword. And I just like this little extra detail right here. They, they've got, uh, like, this bloody chopping block with a battle axe and the basket to catch the head. Nice little execution ground, man. It's a small detail that I really appreciate. It gets you thinking about it, you know? It can't be like the Thieves Guild. They don't kill. So it's got to be one of the other lowlights in here. Yeah, how's the new truck, dude? Does it drive well? Is it comfortable? Oh, I needed that. I'm gonna need all the pickpocketing I can get. This is gonna be really rough. Potatoes, maybe. Yeah, yeah, take potatoes. No, potatoes don't go in vegetable stew. Oh, dang it. Baked potatoes. Get a lot of salt. Make oh. baked potatoes. Is there booze in here? I know these fill up with, like, store owners later. I just want to see, checking if anybody stashed anything in here. Want to be thorough. As I said, I'm stealing all the booze. I'm stealing all the booze. You've seen the power of the vegetable soup, bro. You should start cooking a little bit. I swear by it, man, it's one of the most powerful consumables in the game. Come back later, but I may have some work for you. Yeah, I'll be back in a second. Hold on, dude. <laughs> That's true, man. But if you're playing two-hand, if you're playing dual-wield like me, dude, it's so necessary. For any type of rushdown character, you need the vegetable Shoot soup. Or venison stew. Well, well. Color me impressed, man. 
I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. If you yeah, it's kind of a shithole. Palace, then maybe you're not cut out for this line of work. Our methods involve secrecy and discretion. Now, if you're done belly aching like a child, <laughs> how about handling it? Belly aching like a child. I'm just complaining about your shithole. They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. This this seriously sounds pretty quiet. Kirava, Percy Honeyhan, and Hilga. Do this right. And Hold I on can a second. I'm gonna adjust the volume after I get out of this conversation. Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. Like I'm, I'm a so word much of louder than these guys. I don't want any of them killed. Yeah. It's bad for business. Yeah, man. Gets me that extra view. Good. If you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Now get going. Audio. Master, I think I'm gonna keep that down, but uh, let's crank voice up a bit. Turn that down a little bit more. Effects. Here we go. I want to turn the music up just a bit. I think that that's gonna be a nice adjustment. Have anything for us? Now. I'll be Stay out of trouble, or there's gonna be right. trouble. Now I don't have access to any of these. Uh, Oh, he can't train me. Oh, he can. Okay. So if he can train me to sneak better, then Vex. You need advice? Ah, damn it. If you're looking for conversation, the flagon is in place. How come Delvin will teach me how to sneak, but Vex won't teach me how to pickpocket before I join? Delvin is just a much more chill bro. That's what I'm getting out of this. And yeah, I saw that you gotta do your laundry, bro. You can go ahead, man. Okay. Got some dead beats to intimidate. That makes sense. Kind of. A little bit. Not entirely. Because a lot of the dialogue options with Delvin are locked. But he'll still train me to sneak. I'd understand if they locked all the other dialogue options for Vex. But then... Why, why not allow me to train Pickpocket? I guess because it's related directly to stealing? I guess? Yeah, right? Okay, I'm gonna fuck up this guy's pot first. Screw him. I don't have anything to pay you. No! I can't believe it. Not gonna spare his pot. Screw him. People are monsters! You demand payment for protection. <laughs> you can't even protect yourselves. Take your coin and tell Brynjolf to leave us alone. Just pay them, Bercy. And hope you're here. Now, while oh, we're at it, I need to sell some things to you. <laughs> He's just chilling with it, too. So much for leaving him alone. Yeah, now, now that little bit of unpleasantness is out of the way, buy my shit. Here we go. I don't actually have anything else I want to sell. It's about the principal. I hope Brindle chokes on this. Will be the death all right, all right, I'll go check the Discord, bro. <laughs> I seriously had to bring up Task Manager on the computer to, to draw it up on screen because my mouse is locked. It's locked to the single monitor, and I huh? hold on a second. Yeah, Windows ain't helping either. Oh wait, not this one. Oh. Too much of a roundabout. Okay. I'll check it, bro. I promise you I'm gonna check it. Might as well do that right now. 
Let's see. Let's bring this thing up. Is this something I should be bringing up on the stream or? On today's episode of Whose Head Is Shinier? Ooh, yeah, this thing that needs to be on the stream. All right, all right. Oh wait, wrong one. Wrong one. Let's see here. There we go. That's very fucking reflective. Oh my god! On today's episode of Whose Head Is Shinier? Ooh, I wonder how reflective. That's very fucking reflective. Oh my god! <laughs> Do you think I could pull that off? Like, maybe if I waxed it. That guy... He really brought the shot. Ah, oh, damn it, I forgot to bring up OBS. I can't watch the chat if I don't bring up OBS. What's up, Shinra? Dude, it's kind of plain. <laughs> it's like a spotlight. Hey, don't look at me that way. Who are you to judge me? Dude, a little bit morbid of me, but I saw him bring up, like, out of the corner of my eye so uh, when I realized I was playing without being on the right screen. Like, I saw him bring up something to his mouth. And then I saw a big flash, and I thought that, that he just shot himself for a second. If you're looking for a room, try to be involved. This place is for the working man. Okay, okay. Hold on a second. Gonna steal the statue. He hit 61 followers. Mind tricks. Nice. Please, don't take the statue. It's the only thing of value. I you. You have my statue. What are you going to do with it? <laughs> I don't know, bro. Not Lady this, it was no. a morbid thought I had, bro. I, I get the message. Here, take your gold. I hope you choke on it. I'm not just taking the gold. I'm taking the booze. And I, I gotta show you guys. Like, this, this bitch is kinky and she's up to some shit. <laughs> Alright, so she's a follower of Debella. For anybody who's not, like, familiar with the overall lore of Skyrim, Debella is the goddess of maidens and, and uh... Well, let's just take a look at the items that she has in here. Because one of the missions is handed to you by her her niece. Look, I got the message. What and uh, the she need? wants you to expose her as a whore <laughs> who's been sleeping around town with all the men. Like, let's just take a look at her room real quick. Okay. So her bed has these manacles attached to it, right? And, and you can actually open and close them, these shackles. Like, I wonder what these are for. Like, and then she's got all these potions of stamina, like, potion of vigor, potion of enhanced stamina on the wall. Like, I'll get to the strong box in a second, that's not as important. Like, she's got both copies of the lusty Argonian maid. <laughs> she's got this apple, like, something sweet to eat. If you catch my meaning. Then she, she's got some booze, and she's, like, got uh, this Falmer blood elixir. Like, that reminds me of, like, shark fin soup and other aphrodisiacs. Like, she's got a couple of coins on the bed. Look, and I she's got, the got these leather straps on the table next to a jar of honey. More sweet stuff. Like, lavender and flowers to cloy the air. It's, it's like, to cover the stink. <laughs> and she's got this horker tusk. Next to more leather strips underneath the bed. Like, what does she use the horker tusk for? Like, bro... <laughs> and Shinra's like, oh, honey! <laughs> Dude, she is super free. Yeah, bro. Exactly. Like, everything about this room is so damn suggestive. This, like, I think there was at least six different details, right? Like, sometimes these developers like to have fun. But like, what the fuck, Helga? Whoa! Hope you know what you're All right, while they're all down here, I think I'm gonna go up into the top floor of the bunkhouse and steal all their booze. I know they've got a couple lying on the tables here. <clears throat> yeah, she is super freak, bro. And that's another one for the collection. Because eventually people are going to come up to here and sleep a little bit easier on me if I just take all this shit now. And then when they're all asleep, I can come in here later and I can steal all the shit on the bottom floor. 
Because the alternative is that I just have to carry everything out of their line of sight again. Strategic booze thievery. And I'm, I should probably pay Delvin to get my sneak up a little bit. The priority right now is pickpocketing. But uh, I'm going to need better sneak for this. Another copy of Bagger. Nice. Didn't know about that one. I don't think anybody's seeing me right now. Yeah, they're all over there. But Svenna Starchild. Uh, far shield. Svana Far Shield, yeah. She's the one that's gonna like she's the one who's going to tell me that Helga's a whore. I call it slavery. I work my fingers to the bone keeping Yeah, dude. I collect all the books. Well, I collect one of each. If I read a book, it's been a nightmare. How was I to know she was such a woman? So now I'm stuck living here, oh. while those pigs she calls well, I, customers broke If I read the book and I don't get the level, I know I already have it. It's not just the work, it's everything about her. She's disgusting. <laughs> I think she takes her worship of Debella a bit too seriously. Do you know she's slept with three different <laughs> men in the last month alone? Dude. What kind of woman would do such a thing? Just for once, I'd like to see her squirm. To rub her nose in it. She's mad that Helga's a slut. That's what you're Actually, saying. There is. <laughs> away with doing it. She'd kill me if she Man. Found out. Like, you see, this is the true know. story. While I was in basic training, like, my drill sergeant, uh, my MTI, if you want to get technical about it, is a drill sergeant. Like, what the fuck? Is it? I don't get people who get hung up on that difference. But it's like, my MTI. You need to get the mark of Debella from Bolivar. Like, uh, he had somebody die on him in one sure of his flights because they weren't drinking enough water. Best. Like, straight up. Then just confront Dude just passed out in formation one day and, uh, you know, he didn't wake up. So, like, he made us all shout, like, uh, whenever he would say, Hydrate! We'd have to go, OR DIE! Imagine it? Well, I can't imagine it, I'm not old. What else did you want? I'm only 28, bro. It's like, yeah, I'm bald, but I'm fashionably bald. I got a good head shape for it. So we got a rock. Yeah. And, like, that should happen all the time. And then actually, we almost had that happen again, and it was some of the freakiest shit because there was this fat kid. The only other gin. <laughs> right? <laughs> Way to rub it in, man. They got a sharp widow's peak there, I noticed. You're not gonna have that hair forever. Cherish it while you can. Yeah, more than twice your age. Who would have thunk it? But yeah, in like in my flight, there was this fat kid. I can't remember his name, but uh, he was part of the road guards. Uh, like, nice. Like he was one of the road guards, and like I sucked at marching, so I always got put into the back of the into the back of the formation, right? And the back of the formation is even behind the road guard. Okay, nice go. Like a cat trying to get my attention. <laughs> she knows that I'm focused on something else, so she's trying to get my attention. No, not really. But you're a kid, though. That's kind of funny. So oh, yeah. I'm afraid I can't help you much right now. Hey, imagine, so imagine having to today? listen to your parents all day. Sorry. Look, everything was all just a misunderstanding. Yeah, sure. I didn't mean no to say it. Hey, Bart. I'll pit. have a UR. You it's on top of the fridge if you can reach yes. it. Alright, well. Take this. Every single coin I always there. I swear. Yeah, she already knows. I got a reputation. You caught me at a bad time. Okay, to, to continue with the story before my cat interrupted me. <laughs> Like, I was like a turd in the toilet because I couldn't march right, so I was put in the back of the flight to march behind everybody else because, quote unquote, MTI didn't want me fucking up his formation. <laughs> just, I'm just busting you balls, Shinra. I'm allowed to do that too, you know. And, uh, like, so this kid, he was starting to lag behind. He was falling out. We had just picked up all of our gear, and we were lugging around these, like, big 40-pound sacks filled with all of our equipment. You know, boots, the uniform, the works. 
and uh, like he was a fat kid. He wasn't in the best shape, but uh, like he was also kind of like passing out. Like uh, we were in San Antonio, Texas. Like it was in the in the middle of January, but it was still like near the equator, so it was like close to like eighty degrees, right? And this kid was pale, like he couldn't march it, like uh, he was falling behind everybody else. And the other turd stuck in the toilet with me, like one of the flight leaders. Stay out of trouble. Like he'd gotten in trouble with the drill sergeant, I couldn't remember what. Was just like he was just giving him little pushes at first, like you gotta keep going, man, you gotta keep going, keep going straight. And then he was getting more and more annoyed, right? So he would push him hard, a little bit harder, a little bit harder. And, uh, like, he was, uh, like, this, like, uh, he was complaining and whining, and, uh, he usually complained and whined, so, it, it, like, it, we didn't really think anything of it, and we were all tired, too, it's like, grow the fuck up, right? But, like, he finally pushed him a little bit too hard, and the fat kid stumbled face first into the ground. Judging from how and, uh, <laughs> I'd say you've done like, uh, really the flight leader is just staring like at him with a dumb look on his face, like, oh shit. Like, get up, get up, dude, we gotta keep going. Like, he was saying it like that. He was That's like, you spirit. gotta keep going, you gotta keep Last going. We're still marching, the man, you can't sleep. And, uh, do more than just fit it was like, I was looking at him, it's like, he doesn't look good, dude. And he's like, ah, uh, shit, 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 go, go, go get the MTI. Like, me, fuck. So I had to run up to the drill sergeant, and he was so pissed at me. <laughs> because, like, what are you doing holding up my flight? And I was just pulling it. was like, dude, 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 dude. It's like, like, fat kid, fatty passed out. I, I, I knew his name back then. I don't know his name now. Okay, he washed out later on. It's like, fatty passed out back there. Tell you what. So <laughs> he just looked around, like, with this annoyed look on his face. And then when he saw him just pitched face first on the ground, he kind of got, like... Yeah, welcome back, Sour Patch. So like, the, like he kind of just got this look in his face, and uh, no, like, no he ran over to Fatty, and he started was like, "Hey, you okay? Like, wake up, wake up!" Like, so and it was seriously getting bad. <laughs> like, he, we, we wound up having to call an ambulance. Like, he was barely breathing, dude. Like, he was just totally dehydrated. Guy wasn't drinking nearly enough water. So, like, he straight up passed out while we were marching. And uh, he was hospitalized for several days. And, and the look on our drill sergeant's face is like he'd seen a ghost. Like, you could just read this dude's thought process in his head. It's like, oh shit, not again. What the fuck? How come this keeps happening? We Like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, it, it, was, it was crazy, man. Ugh. Oh, and then he busted all of our, he busted all of our balls when we got back, made us drink like two canteens full of water, and then we were doing push-ups until nighttime when we had to piss in a cup. It's been a long time since anyone joined us. It wasn't two, it wasn't two days, my tricks. But of course, it took me like an hour to piss while I was over there, and I held everybody up, like, you know, because I was dehydrated as shit. Oh god damn, that's right. Man, happy celebration. Oh bro! Last person that bro! ended up floating in the canal. Glad you found the channel, Shinra. It's, it's been good having you on here. It it really is. You're a good kid, man. Well, I gotta take all of the wine. All the booze is coming with me. I can't let my title be a lie. Baldy stealing all the booze. But I also gotta talk to Vex. I don't think I can actually take any quests from Vex until I talk to Mercer. So let's get this main quest line out of the way. July 22nd. Man, that is a long time. I guess that is when I started, isn't it? Dude, I, I, I was so fresh. So young, so let's innocent. Until here I had no idea what the hell I was doing back then, man. He's taking all the advice I could get. It's better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make <laughs> one thing perfectly clear. And sorry to hear that, Sour. You walk away rich. You break the rules and you Are you going to be doing anything for your birthday? No or are you just going to be hanging with us? What we say, when we say. 
Do I make myself clear? We'll get on Discord and we'll sing it happy birthday. That's gonna be on a Saturday, right? Alright, see you in a bit, Shinra. Just driving? <laughs> Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a Shit. I was actually thinking about having our next game day next Saturday. I'm not sure if that would conflict with Sour pa uh, with not Sour Patch, with Shenanigan and schedule or not. I want to contact Shenanigan and hash out a real day where we can have him on a stream as well. Because it would be great if we could co stream. the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. Yeah, let's do another community gaming day on your birthday, bro. It'll be fun. And then at one point we're all paused and we'll sing a happy birthday and it'll be super embarrassing and we'll go like, Go oh, guys, oh Since Brignol assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us when you're in. Oh Welcome to the family lot. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. Yeah, of course, man. People will be able to bounce back and forth. Simple. I think that'll be a lot of fun, especially if we're playing Among Us. Like that's the perfect kind of game for that. You should talk with Delvin Mallory. And, and to anybody watching right now, you know, I said community game day. I meant community game day. If you like my content well, and you give me a follow and you want to join our Discord, I know the stream elements is plugging that every now and then. Online. Then, once in a while, I'm thinking every other weekend we're gonna have a community game day where we're gonna play something like Among Us, maybe Minecraft or like Counter Strike Go. We might play Counter Strike Go as a second game next time. Golden Glow Estate is a e farm. And uh, I'm going to stream it. We had a lot of fun last time. The video is still up if you want to check that out. Uh, it should be the Among Us video. Uh, and it should be titled as Community Game Day Shenanigans. The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. Yeah, and then if Butter gets on, like he can also stream his content. And hopefully... Oh, did she have to generate a new link? Bro... I, I think that every time we generate a new link, it invalidates the previous link. So that might have just invalidated the link that Stream Elements is plugging in. <laughs> I'm gonna have to adjust it again. Hi. The last thing we want to be doing is. <laughs> yeah, I understand, bro. Thank you. <laughs> no, it's okay. You're just trying to help. That's something I noticed that I, I haven't said anything about yet. So, you, like, you're totally fine. <laughs> you're totally fine, dude. Oh, shit. I think the best uh, way to do this would be to uh, find what the quick command is for, uh... Like, I don't think I have Discord connected like that. I'm gonna have to find out what the command is to bring up that timer. I don't need any details about this. Basically, destroy beast nests, steal the shit. And Shinra. Like, would you be able to co-stream a community game day with us? Because, like, last time, you missed our Among Us game. It's still doing that! Dude, I checked it out the other day. <laughs> I have no idea how to adjust the watch time. just packed you up the street and dropped you into the thick of things. But, uh, yeah, Shinra. Before we begin, I want to make two like, I would love it if you would join our next One, community game day and uh, you can't co-stream. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. Ah, uh, well, and I understand two, if you can. You follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. I was just suggesting we that if you join our community game day, play Among Us with us now, and stream your end. Now, to get your feet wet. And I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about Oh, you're about on your PS4. Business. I see. I'm not going to sugarcoat Well, it's just Among Us. We're in a bad way down here. So it's possible that your computer could handle that? Who knows? Old Delvin... But I understand if you can it might be possible opinion, if you streamed uh, your Among Us gameplay on your laptop and then you used your cell phone to watch the chat, or vice versa. You can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. Otherwise, I got nothing. I'm sorry. Make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad Let's deal, try to right? brainstorm how that would happen. Because that would be a great way for your followers to get exposed to my channel and vice versa, along with shenanigans. And then if Butter could do that, then that's uh, like uh, between us. I know we're probably sharing a few different uh, viewers, but that's like 200 separate viewers that might be exposed to potentially to all of our channels. That would be, yeah, that that would help us a lot, dude. All right. Oh, she only trains in lock picking. Damn it. I might as well get this out of the way. 
not like that. Stones of Baron Zaya, yeah. The stone was pried off of Baron Zaya's very ceremonial shiny. crown. Very shiny. Unique. Goes to a crown. To cover his tracks. Like, why would the driver not want this fridge? I think there were 24 in all. Most people keep them as a curiosity. Some of the guild members have tried to locate them over the years, but they have I'll be able to hash out the commands, I think. Well, till now. The follow which I'm not sure about. I'm not sure what that is, but I was taking a look at the commands the other day, and I'm starting to memorize a few of them. And by memorize, I mean I look them up, and I try to remember them, and now I've already forgotten them, so I didn't memorize them at all, I guess. Well, if he really feels that way. <laughs> I'd get in trouble if I had a fridge in my truck. This is where I would put Oh, man. <laughs> Just put a, like a whole case of four logos. Woohoo! Uh, let's grab a few I jobs while we're at it. Glory, shell, sweep, and heist jobs. If you don't like that kind of work, talk to Delvin. I'm gonna go for Every heist. Again, if that means breaking into their strong boxes and stealing something valuable from them, then so be it. Feel like doing a bit of shopping? The guild way? Shit. You've been on Twitch for a long time, man. You know, All I right. never actually Take watched live streams until I began streaming mm -hmm. myself. And now I've slowly begun watching other people's live streams, but I don't watch any of the big streamers. I just watch mostly you guys. Well, as long as it's not just me, I'll be happy with that. Makes me feel better about it. You watch yourself on that island. Then I gotta talk to Delvin. Where is he at? Where my dude Delvin at? Can I get away with it? No, there, there. Okay, there's Delvin. Now he's looking at me. So you're the What's up? Recruit, All right, Shinra. Huh? Well, looks like See you in a second. Brief little fight. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. Am I right? I think I actually disabled that one. Or I have an enabled eight ball. Lying to my face Dude. isn't going to win you any favors with me. I can promise you that. Well, the other end. Hold on a second. Let me enable eight ball for you. While I'm, while I'm now, thinking about it, it only takes me like half a minute. Of my list. I just have this. I have this as a quick tab. I don't have to type shit in. Okay, here we go. Dashboard. Then uh, let's see here. Chat commands. Turning on eight ball. Enable. And let's turn on accept duels. Uh, give points. I don't got points yet. Gamble your life away. Sure, why not? Let's do roulette. Slots. I don't have anything on any of that shit. But why not? Play a game of emo bingo. I guess that's like exclamation mark bingo. I uh, don't have any raffles. Gonna leave those uh, empty for now. Enable or disable Pepe's. What the hell's a Pepe? Ah, screw that. Okay, that's good. That's it. That's enough. Okay, bring that back up. Bring this back up. We're good. Chat stats. All right. Glad to have you back, bro. See, that kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich and stay alive long enough to enjoy it. We're gonna get along nicely. So. Pepe is a four chain mascot. Nerve, yeah, but, like, I, I know who Pepe is, but it's like, what's Pepe doing as a command and stream elements? It, it, it was, like, exclamation mark P-E-P-E-S? I think it's Pepe's? A few decades ago, this place was as busy as the Imperial City. Now, God damn. if you don't trip over a skeever instead. Look, I yeah, that all sounds about right. I'm a bit dull for saying stuff like this, but I'm going to give it you straight. Yeah, I didn't enable that one because I didn't know what it was. I don't know who or I could enable that one if you want. It's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. Try the bingo one. We do. And you can try eight ball now. Eight ball should work. Face and turn things around down here. Put things back the way they were. Oh, That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Come in. I've got well, plenty of work available. That could I knew about the chat stats one, but the Pepe is. What the hell is the Pepe is? need to do is ask. We could both come out of this smelling like a rose. Okay. I had all the fishing. I think I'm gonna do Bedlam. Bedlam sounds more my thing. 
Why well, I, I don't want to do fishing yet because well, actually as long as I'm doing heist, I might as well do numbers too. I might get I might get lucky and have both in the same room. It's happened to me a couple of times. Your job. We would like doing a bit of right. Then I'll do bedlam later. Nice. Yeah. This is what you need to know. But I fucked up. I got like I've started the thief skill. That lets me get out of trouble with the guards now. I'm gonna need that. For training my pickpocket, I'm gonna need that. The next place I have to go to is gonna be Windhelm. Because there's this homeless chick that I gotta talk to who's gonna train me in pickpocketing. I forgot her name. Who better than the homeless teach you how to pickpocket? It's kind of a stereotype, but whatever. And I might as well do Golden Glow next. It'd be kind of fun to do the Thieves Guild quest line. I purposefully put that one that one off because, like, I do it. I've, I've done it so many other times. But yeah, I think. Oh, this is exactly who I want to see. Still at the unseen. Here, have a gold piece, lady. Thank you. Divide up to no good. And time to blow half my wallet. I'll teach. Perfect. 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 So, Bingo doesn't do shit. <laughs> that sucks. What was Feral about to say to me? I don't care. Like, well, did blow on the ice last time I was here. What the hell is Kapagan? Like, I, I really need to educate myself in all this. Has a gaming team? Really? Dude! Oh, I'm jealous as hell! Ah, damn it, I was born in the wrong generation. I love the future, bro. Fuck yeah. Let's have more high schools with gaming teams. Middle schools, elementary schools, bro. It's a skill. It, it, it can't be. It can, it can be a skill. Trees Fuck yeah, me. dude. I'm going to lose my job at Reminds the me of autumn at home. <laughs> He's playing bingo. Right, guys, go ahead and play some bingo. I think the more the merrier. I think you have to take turns. Okay, so I've got the pickpocket. Now, like, I have a few bottles here and there I gotta steal. I just have to be careful with every single little thing I steal because there could be people walking around here and see me. And I'd be hosed, and there's nothing I could do about it. But this is going to be a nice little stash to sell to Tanila. Eh, the gloves, not so much, but you know what? More money. Before I go over to Tanila, though, I need to make sure that I don't have any enchantments. Make a little quick stop in Miss Vale Keep and loot the shit out of the steward's room because she's always got a nice few gems lying around. Matter of fact, let me do that before she goes to bed because it's yeah, it's like 9:44 that she's gonna be going back here in a minute. Like that, every time, man. Well, some of the time that I'm stealing, I always get the happy tree. Not always, but some of the time. Some of the time, get that happy tree friends uh, theme song playing in my head. It's just, it's, it's just it's a feeling of happiness. Oh yeah, and Sibby. I'm gonna take this. This is mine now. <laughs> Boy, it's just playing around with Jack, man. Uh, you could be. You could possibly be. Well, it seems like Sour Patch has been on Twitch for almost five years now, so he might know more than you. But a lot of the things about uh, Twitch I've actually learned from either you or Sammy Hammy, actually. Sammy Hammy was the one who educated me about all the emotes. What a three-head and five-head is and all that shit. I still get those confused. I think five-head is good, right? Three-head is kind of stupid. Or I could be just getting this totally fucking wrong. <laughs> it's no use. Top online. I think, like, that is about points. Don't you look at me! Don't y'all look at me! Thank you. Now I can get back to the real job.
He's going to turn around any minute now. Oh, yeah, there he is. Yeah, I'm not going to get away with this. I'm going to drag it over here. All of them's booze belongs to me. You broke something. What'd you break, Bray? Bra, Bray, Bray. What'd you break? Talos guide you. I don't think I, I have anything that can be broken in this. What, what are you doing? Look, stop. Out the trouble, kinsman. No, get the fuck out of here. Damn it! I feel like I, I'm getting caught jerking off or something. It's my own private business. Y'all are interfering in it. You're interfering in me stealing all your stuff. Oh. R.I.P. your button, bro. F in the chat for Mind Tricks button. Then we're gonna steal everything from the Jarl's room. I know she has a stone to bar inside. I think I'm up to... This'll be, like, number five. Slowly but surely, I'm accumulating them. I think that that's going to be one of the end game things. I'm not specifically going to go for the Stones of Baron Saya. Like, that's just going to be a happy accident that ha that uh, happens somewhere near the end of the game. Because this is a 100% run. Thank you, Sour Patch. Yeah, you'll be able to, I bet. You just got to unmash it. Butter knife or something. Song request, adventure, royalty free, medieval fantasy music. Is that a real request? <laughs> no, like, whenever I play music on this channel, I just bring up, like, my Amazon playlist or, I, like, more recently, YouTube videos. I don't have any streaming service that's linked to uh, my profile. Because, well, you know, it costs money and I, I don't have a lot of that. <laughs> like I'm paid quote unquote by my dad and my grandma for uh, my uh, primary care uh, services but it is it's, you know it, it's mostly so that I can handle my bills it's not actually a pay of any kind yeah man uh, the things I do for love well at least I get the game all the time that's a nice happy accident about that and primary care, believe it or not, looks pretty good on a resume. Alrighty. I don't think I'm going to keep that goblet. Got to get rid of that. Yeah, right? Like, I'm not as hosed as I originally thought I was going to be. Surfing of Thieves. Why would she have this book? I think this is a new one. Yep, here it is. Lock picking. Okay. Awesome. You know, one of these days I'm actually going to read these books. Not today. That would take time. My own time. I'm going to read those books. <laughs> Don't pass out just yet, bro. Don't want anybody to nicky stuff. Oh, I've got a great companion in Fondle right here. He's keeping his mouth shut when I'm stealing all this shit. Good final. Great final. Love you, final. You're the best. Potion uh strength. Do I have any of that? Nope. Final. You're not supposed to be in here. Really? Dude, final gonna narc me. Okay, never mind. Final's the fucking worst. He's an asshole. He's gotta go. <laughs> I'm gonna banish him back to I'm gonna banish him to Lakeview. Like, why does he have a problem with me trespassing? Yeah, go ahead, Shinra, that's fine. Like, why does he have a problem with me trespassing, but not with me stealing? Dude, if, if I talk to him too many times, do you think he'd call the guards on me? Do you think he'd leave my service and narc me out? I kind of think he would. Guys, Fondle's a prick. Yeah, I gotta get rid of him. 
thinking Uthgard next. Do you think Uthgard would give a shit? I think she'd give a shit, actually. She sounds. She seems like a pretty straight-laced lady. And I don't think I can actually get out of here, so... I'm right behind He'll you. actually talk to me while I'm here, though. What do you want me to carry? Alright, let's see what I can give him. I don't, I don't want to try it. <laughs> I, I don't want to try it. I'm already going to get arrested so many times for my pickpocketing challenge. <laughs> like, you can hold the candlestick. How's that, Fondle? Uh, but yeah, Fondle's got to go fuck this guy. I'll make him take this big ass stolen great sword. He probably won't equip it. Lead on. I said probably won't. He didn't. Okay, good. He's still using one hand. And this is when the Yara Layla is gonna come out. You should notice that it's like, okay, it's past 10 p.m. But in that area right there, like the sky was textured, so it'd be like kind of like midday out or something like that. It's weird. <laughs> I'm just noticing all of these little like, odd discrepancies as I'm going through the game. Like, in the vent, like, <laughs> so many hey, things were patched. I know who you are. Hey, the cities. <laughs> oh my god, I, I love how poorly rendered this game is. That that's one of the things I'm really looking forward to about uh, my uh, upcoming run with uh, Cyberpunk tw uh, 2077. Because I, I think like, it's gonna be a lot of fun just seeing all of the major glitches and getting to just dissect those, and <laughs> I'm really looking forward to that experience, man. Any luck with the key- any luck with your key, Shinra? Did you get it unstuck? Nice. Glad to hear it. Did we have an appointment? I'm gonna take this, take that. Was it delivery? And I needed the strength potion back here, so give me this thing. Ah, fucking take both of them. What's this? Okay, that's just light. Okay, that's light. If I take all of her ingredients here, I'm gonna definitely be over encumbered, but I can take her booze and get away with it, I think. So your booze is mine, and what do you have in here? Oh, she can see me. She can still see me. There we go. Oop, oh, she can see me. Seven gold, not get worth away it. From me. Man, I'll go where I want. Fuck you. Go out of the way. Both of you. Okay. Yeah, dude, that, like, I'd be lying if I told you <laughs> that it I'm actually interested in the game itself. I, I, I more just want to gossip about how terrible the release is. <laughs> I want to see for myself just how much of a disaster this thing is ro rolled out. Or if it's overblown, I'm not sure. But I'm definitely going to have to release my computer stats before I play it, just so you guys understand what kind of setup I have here. Because my setup is a, is UFO. Like, my smart TVs take longer to start up than my computer does. Like, I could turn on my, like, my multiple outlet and then my TVs first. And then I could turn on my computer. And my computer would already be at its login screen like when the TVs would finally like actually uh, turn on to its main HDMI setting. So like it's a Ryzen 7 and uh, the gaming card is like I think it's a 570 GX a gaming pro and uh, like the motherboard I don't think the motherboard itself is water cooled but it, it's yeah dude it's latest gen. I have 32 gigs of RAM. Speed running Minecraft? Oh, dude, I did No. That's mostly getting lucky with trades, Shinra. Even if you're one of us, you better. Like, speed running Minecraft takes a lot of luck. Steal anything worth talking about? And I'm really inclined to believe that Dream is using some type of software to modify like the chances he gets on Ender Pearls. Because that's where all the luck comes in. You have to get really lucky on Piglin trades and uh, get a bunch of Ender Pearls right away, or you have to get really lucky and spawn next to a village that has like priests and then kill a shit ton of zombies and uh, trade up and trade flesh in like Oh a, a Pokemon Nuzlocke? Yes What game? 
So, you're Bryn Yolf's new program. What game, bro? Okay. I'm in. Don't look like much. You don't gotta say any more than that. Huh? Have a treat. Well, looks like you and I'm I are right gonna behind have to get very well equipped. What do you want me to carry? <laughs> like, I might do a couple of speed runs for the lols. But, uh, I, I won't be making a thing of it. Lead on. Yeah, for sure, right? So you're the new recruit, huh? Yeah, Fire Red. Well, looks like you and I are gonna have to get... Fire Red? I love Fire Red, bro. I'm the fence down. I can also provide a few supplies... I'm in. ...to our trade now and again. For a small fee. Sure. How about I get dirt? Like, and what are the, the specific limitations of Nuzlocke? Look, I've been in this business. Like, a long I don't see how we can do it hard systems types. and stream it. You can play it tough, or you can. Or are you play talking about just like doing Whatever. a gaming and casual? At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care. Because you'll find that a Pokemon on the grinder. Say. Here's your armor. Just make sure I train hard. Good use. I like keeping all my Pokemon levels like high and even with each other. Oh, I don't know if it'd be terribly interesting to see me killing the same, the like the same Caterpies over and over again. So we might just do a Nuzlocke. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of. We thing. might just have a casual Nuzlocke play. That be work. That would work with me too. Right. I know that the first one is your Pokemon gets knocked out, it's dead. You have to release it, right? I know that first rule. What are the other rules? Hey, thanks for the host, Shinra. Really appreciate you, buddy. Oh, you got a nickname? All the Pokemon. Okay. Like, don't be disappointed in me when, like, half of them are named, like, some variation of Fart Knocker. <laughs> like, I'm not creative. Uh, the community thing, I'm thinking it's gonna be on Sour Patch's birthday, next Saturday. Next Saturday, usual streaming time, around 8pm. But it's really gonna depend on what shenanigan this answer is. <laughs> Thank you so much, bro. I have my uh, my channel set to auto host you, Butter, and Shenanigandon. But I'm not sure exactly how to make that work because for like I'm getting the impression that it's not actually successfully auto hosting. That's something I'm really gonna have to fiddle with. Okay, sell the candlestick. Fuck that candlestick. And that goblet. Fuck it. Only the first Pokemon you come around. Really? Only catch one Pokemon per area. And only the first Pokemon you come across. Dude, that... Oh, man, that sounds so fucking brutal. No! Oh no, dude. I'm just gonna have to, like, max level my Charizard then. Like, fuck it, I'll just have a level 100 Charizard. No. Alright, I meant I don't need much more convincing than that. I don't have anything, anything else to sell. Until next time. I don't get to pick the starter? Oh, that's why you got that. Oh, that's why you knew he got the 60. Well, I'm gonna wear this. Have a treat. Off the last digit of a trainer ID. Okay. Because my knee-jerk reaction is to always grab the Charmander. Love Blastoise, love Venusaur, the great Pokemon I want, Charizard. <laughs> oh shit. Like, I'm into it. I'm really into the idea of it. I'm getting more and more hyped about it. Or one through three, because that's a Charmander. Yeah, yeah, I've played that game enough. I have the Star Pokemon memorized. Left or right? Left one is Charmander. Middle one is Bulbasaur. Right one is Squirtle. 
Like, you can double check my homework, but I don't think I'm wrong. Hold on, I gotta go back to the house and dump off some of my booze. Some of my collection, it, it, it's, uh, it, it's weighing me down, bro. This is why I need to get my pickpocketing, pickpocketing up. I might as well take the time, after I get out of uh, my house here, to just go ahead and get the steed stone. I need it. I really need the steed stone. Yeah, Pokemon was kind of our generation. Bro, we're old. This new generation hasn't watched Pokemon. Sour Patch. Where's the time going? I don't blame you kids for not watching Pokemon. It's kind of shit. <laughs> Like, Pokemon was always about the power of friendship before, but now it's, like, super about the power of friendship, and it's it's kind of lame. I don't blame me for not getting into it. Alright, I'm just gonna say that. In my opinion, and... Yeah, that's a good anime to start with, Naruto. But in my opinion, at least, Pokemon stopped being good after the fourth generation. I can at least see the merits in how Pokemon was still good during Diamond and Pearl. At the very least, it wasn't my game. I think that after uh, Emerald version, Sapphire, Ruby, and Emerald, is when Pokemon, both the show and the game itself, like, really just got repetitive. Like, don't, don't sue me for that. <laughs> like, that's just my opinion. You, you don't have to share it. No dupes. Alright. Okay. That's making me feel a little bit better about this. Like, I was sick of like, oh my god. VIP? I haven't. I was kind of thinking that VIP, subs, and all that stuff would be something I'd do it after I got to affiliate. Like, I already know that I want to make you guys VIP. Channel points, I definitely want to do as well. I was looking into into channel points before, and I thought at one point that I'd have them set up through uh, Streamlabs, but it appears that it hasn't actually allocated the way I want. Now, I got a couple of questions, and Shinra, you seem like you're knowledgeable on the topic. Is, like, are points something that I would have to pay for to distribute to you guys, or is it like a free service? Because I'm under the impression that you have to pay for your bits. Okay, so I don't have to pay for it. That's good. Alright, then that strongly increases the likelihood of me being able to provide, provide that for you guys. Yeah, I've seen that. In a lot of the affiliated and partnered streams that I've watched in the past, like, points, they're pretty fun. Uh, my, like, uh, my buddy Escobar has them. So, bits, you actually have to pay for them. Okay, I think that's everything. No, I gotta get rid of the pelts. I gotta get rid of my ores, and uh, I'm gonna have to look into building up the cellar at some point. Not right now. I, 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 I don't want to bore you guys with that. Bits or something a viewer can buy and gift. I gotcha. Okay. And I think with points that I can make my own custom emotes, and you guys can unlock those, or you like... I, I think there are ways, uh, like, to interact with the game, too. Like, if I have custom mods, then you could spawn in random monsters while I'm playing Skyrim, things like that. Because that's definitely something I want to implement. I can't actually do it with this game, because part of the challenge is that I have to get 100% of the achievements, and having any kind of mod in this game would, well, it, it, it would make it unfeasible to get the achievements, unfortunately. Sub emotes, custom commands. Yeah, that those are all things that I want to look into. Okay, so I do have five stones of Baron's Eye. I want to get rid of all these soul gem fragments. They're not heavy, they just clutter. They feel cluttersome. You're going to be the first guy I turn to, bro. I already lean on you pretty heavily for some of this knowledge. Oh, what's going on? 
my viewers just dropped a one. That means something. Think Twitch just cut me off again. Damn it, Twitch. Oh, wrong one. Water and mustard emo. Yeah, my viewers. Like, that's. Not trying to be vain, but my viewership just dropped like one. <laughs> Damn it, Twitch. <laughs> Fix your shitty app. Right? I don't get it. It says it on the channel, too. What the fuck? God damn it, Twitch! Just, it doesn't want me to have advertisements. Like, it's holding me back from that fat two cents a month. Ah, oh, that's lame. Ah, oh, that's super lame. Hopefully that fixed it, I don't know. But yeah, Sapphire... Seven on the viewer log. Yeah, a, a lot of those are bots. For some reason, I have an ungodly amount of bots that watch this channel. There's usually more bots than people on this thing. It's fucking weird, bro. I think it's because I play all those uh, DMCA struck, struck musics in the past. They're just waiting for me to get affiliates so I can get copyright struck. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Like, if you want to, you can. I'm not sure how many of those are actually bots or how many of them are lurking. So if, you, if you're going to punt any of them, uh, click them real quick just to verify that they're actually four not bots or three. Yeah, just make sure that they're actually bots before you punt them because people can be lurking and that's okay. Oh, we're doing this then. I just thought I was going to get the steed stone. What am I doing over here? I guess I want to do this mention. Before he notices me. These guards will handle it. They'll be fine. I'm just going to boogie on over here. I think Lost Echo Cave is going to be a pr great place to start. This will give me a straight shot to the steed stone on the path. Steed stone should be this way. We're going to go this way. <laughs> don't? Okay. Shinra saying don't. I'm leaning on its knowledge here. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Like, if they're gonna put the bots on my channel, you know, I, I wish they would actually be viewers. But I don't want to let this topic drop because we were talking about Nuzlocke before I was asking the questions. And uh, Sour Patch said that Sapphire is his favorite. And bro, like, I'm gonna get my ass kicked by a bear and a wraith, by the way. Not part, not the point, not the topic. But Emerald is by far my favorite game of all time. Like, I have a particular sweet spot for Ruby. All right, thank you, buddy. And hopefully the viewer count will go back up in a second. I hope that actually doesn't play. I, I, I hope that gets smoothed out. And that doesn't get counted towards my total, uh, my, my average viewer count, because that would be lame as a mofo. Okay, so if I go that way, the bear and the ice wraith are gonna kick my ass. I gotta go around. And here's the ice wraith. I wasn't clever enough. Oh. Yeah, like Lurks, for example, is a bot that promotes, uh, like, uh, not DMCA, uh, royalty free music. That one, that one I see very often. Gardevoir? Great Pokemon. Like, not my go to. I had two Game Boys, so I always favored Alexam. Because I'm, like, you might be able to tell from my gameplay here in Skyrim, but I've always favored DPSs. Anything that delivers me hard damage per second, like Blaziken, for example, 
or like Alex Zam, you know, low HP, low defense, but has super high special attack. Like Alex Zam has great speed and special attack and can basically strike first and one hit just about any Pokemon that's near its level. It's great. Like, probably my favorite first generation Pokemon. Next, Charizard. It, it's honestly hard to choose between the two. The to choose to choose between the two. Like, but my usual team, this is for Emerald. I would have Salamence. Love the shit out of Salamence. It's one of the coolest Pokemon ever. A little bit redundant to have Blaziken as my starter because you know they're both fire types. Like, at least Salamence is a good secondary fire type. But. Like, it was more about Salamance being cool than it really fitting with my team. Plus, he had outrageous physical attack. Oh, Saddest Kitty's a girlfriend. I think so, at least. No, she's Black Kitty. She's some variation of Kitty. Thickest and the other ones are separate, yeah. Go with them. That sounds religious. Yeah, continuing my Pokemon lineup, bro. It was almost always Blaziken, Salamence, Metagross. Metagross is, you know, of course. What the fuck? Oh, that explains a lot. I'm still wearing the light armor. Oh, then that's probably not my girlfriend. I think she's black as kitty. I gotta change my armor back. That explains so much. Yeah, I think you're right, Shinra. That explains why I got bodied so quickly by the Ice Wraith. Like, that didn't seem right. Blaziken, Salamence, Metagross, then Wallerain. Wallerain is my favorite water ice type ever. Like, super weak to Earthquake. So, like, any, ty any type of Earth type, Fighting type, Fire type, Grass type. Like, Wallerain had a lot of weaknesses. But once again, I gotta defend myself a bit here. We love the DPS type Pokemon. I didn't really have a lot of tanks. In fact, Metagross was the closest thing that I had to a tank on my team. Uh, then the other two are kind of forgetful, I just, I, you know, uh, what the fuck were the other two? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, shit. Flygon sometimes. I would switch Flygon out with something. Yep, Trap Pinch is what falls into Flygon. Woo, who, what? I'm getting one shot. Yeah, the, the the other two I also kind of tend to switch. That's why I really can't remember them. But Walgrain, uh, Walrain, uh, then yeah, Trap Pinch the Salamence, uh, Trap Pinch the Flygon, and the Starter were my usual beginner pipes. And of course, Feel you didn't really get until you finally got out into the ocean. So a lot of my favorite Pokemon were mostly Endgame. You like you couldn't, like you couldn't e even get Bagon until you had like Waterfall. I think it was. You would have to use Waterfall inside of uh, like Meteor Falls, and then he only spawns in a single room. Like there's one room inside Meteor Falls that spawns Bagon. Okay, that time is because I didn't switch my armor back. I have to switch my armor back. And then quick save again so I don't have to keep doing this. And maybe go around that tower and just fight the bear. <laughs> like, those guys are punking me. Oh, dude, if his first experience is Nuzlocke, he's never going to see any other Pokemon game the same way. Oh, no. 
Okay, let's do it. I'm in. <laughs> and I think you're right. We're going to have to go with emulators because that's simply more accessible. Like, I don't even know where my Fire Red version is. We'll have to use the same emulator, too, so they're compatible with one another. Because we're going to have to, like, have a final Pokemon battle after we, we all beat the Elite Four. That's at least what I'm thinking. Yeah, Shinra, you're totally invited to this. Fire Red is a great Pokemon game to start with. If you haven't played already. I know you don't watch the anime. I have Samsung S5. So I think they should be compatible with one another. It's more about the emulator software itself, I think. As long as we can get an emulator that's available on both Android uh, and uh, on Apple sto uh, Store, then we should be able to do this no problem. And why the fuck does it still say I have z I have one viewer? This <laughs> not to complain about that again, but what the fuck, Twitch? Fix your app. You have all these bots. <laughs> you have all these bots making sure I don't make a potty, or that I'm not playing D like a royal like a copyright song. But like, ugh, it's so annoying. They aren't allowed on iPhone. That's lame. Steve Jobs, you lame bastard. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to think of some. Maybe on the laptop. There are some good emulators on the laptop that I found. The GameCube emulators are all shit. <laughs> Nintendo does, like, does a few anti-piracy things to their video games so that, uh, like, uh, there, there's certain lines of code that, uh, are received that just totally foul up the experience. Oh, who are these guys? Just got three enemies. Hopefully they're wolves. Oh boy, doesn't matter anymore. Okay. Nope, not wolves. Bandits. Okay. Did I switch out my armor? Please, please. Okay, yeah, I did. Oh, it's not letting me use my shop. Oh, this is bad. Oh, it finally did. Oh, it's a bandit chief. I'm so fucked. Ah! No, no, no. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Iron back hideout. I think this is what they're protecting. Sorry, Fondle. You'll be fine. You're a tough guy. Fucking mark. Do I say that loud? <laughs> stitches get snitches. Uh, snitches get stitches. Stitches, snitches, snitch and ditch. Finally got what I came for, though. Here we go, the Steed Stone. Okay. That's a game changer. Now I'm not going to have to do inventory management like every 30 seconds. Gives me that extra hundred carry weight. That's going to be so important with all the looting I have to do in this in this playthrough. We're going to have to look into that a little bit because I would like to have a multiplayer at some point when we when we all make it through the Elite Four. Oh yeah, go ahead, bro. Hold on a second. Where the hell should I go now? I went through a few caves. Okay. I'm, I'm glad to have you back, buddy. I, I went through a few caves around here. I'm, I'm not strong enough to clear out any of this area yet. And I have the feeling that if I go back and I do Honey Glow right now, I'm, I'm going to get bodied pretty bad. So I have to think that my best bet is, is probably just to go back. Go back to the White Run area, and uh, like I, I think uh, in the central area, like the difficulty kind of like scales as you spread out from the center of Skyrim. Never should have come here. 
Like, not necessarily, but it feels that way. Like, the levels themselves are smaller. Because all of the largest levels are on the outskirts of Skyrim. And I'd need small and contained right now. At least, that that's how I feel like. That, that's the direction I feel like I should go. Hey, finally back to four viewers, yeah! Pepe is a Discord frog. Like, I... I, I know who Pepe is, I was just confused, like, why is that a command? He's the frog. He, he, like... Ambiguously racist drug. I'm familiar with Pepe. <laughs> I don't, like, I don't know if he is or not, but, like, that's a weird thing I noticed is that a lot of white supremacists use Pepe. It's, it's kind of an uncomfortable thing. Alright, gotcha, bro. All I gotta say to that is free Pepe. Pepe don't gotta be affiliated with that. Pepe's own guy. He don't support it. Gonna heal. Gotta heal. And VBA link. That should be easy enough to install. I'll wait until it gets back to keep talking about Nuzlocke. Because I'm super excited about that. Gotta add a few caveats. I'm not gonna be able to play that much. Not on the computer. If it's on the phone, I can play more. Oh, I did? <laughs> I, I think that's the same outline that I've had for the last couple of days. Like, if you check my previous streams, I think that's the same. This place looks familiar. Didn't I already come through here? Or maybe I did this with my other phone. I feel like I've already gone through this area with Bondle. It looks clear. Yeah, I guess. It does look a little bit sharper, doesn't it? Like, I guess... A reason for that being is that uh, before, when I was having issues with connection, I had limited my stream to uh, around 3,000 uh, uh, for bitrate and uh, like 30 frames per second. But uh, now that uh, oh come on, use use the shout. I'm gonna die. Uh, actually, my stream is locked at 1920. I actually haven't been able to adjust it. That's one of the things I've had an issue with. So, you should be watching this in 1080p right now. Alright, got that level up. That's gonna, not, that's gonna be nice for this fight. Which I'm definitely gonna need the vegetable soup for. My only chance here is if I can spam my power attacks over and over again. So, you know, the usual. Like, this... I, I can't help but, to, but be forcefully reminded of uh, Fallout 4 when I was doing my melee character. And I just had to inject all kinds of drugs. Alright, sounds good, Sour Patch. And when we get back, we'll talk a little bit more about, uh, about Nuzlocke. You're the fire monster. I got better fire than you. There we go. Didn't have to use a level up. I do remember coming through here, and this run through was so much more smooth than the last one. 
so much more smooth with actually proper English. I'm getting better. I'm getting better at speaking. Hell yeah. Okay, give me all the coins. I'm actually starting to use proper English for one of these streams. Usually I just stumble and fumble all over myself. I don't know what's going on. I'm in a rare group today. Empty wine bottle. Damn it. Didn't leave any for me. Where's my booze? I like a booze. I like booze. So, what... Shinra, what is your experience with Pokemon besides the anime? Have you actually played it? I just want to gauge it. And if you've played it, what was the first game that you played? Because you had a 3DS, so you must have played it at some point, right? Like, Pokemon is more than half of what I played on my 3DS. It's what I got it for specifically. Tomato? Do I want tomato? I don't want tomato. I'm gonna have to start looking into, like, if there is a cooking pot around here somewhere. Like, I need to re-evaluate. Like, need, I need to look up. I haven't played Pokemon, really. Oh, you're in for a treat. Like, Fire Red, you know, it's not the most visually exciting game. But it's one of those things, if you're in numbers games, like, it's really going to draw you in. And, and you really get attached to your little buddies. <laughs> they grow up so fast. And played Mario. Ooh, shit. Paper Mario? Or Super Mario 3DS? Or one of my favorite ones. I, I can't remember the name. Mario 3DS, nice. Oh, you did play Pokemon. So what Pokemon game did you play, buddy? It's okay, you can list them all out. Okay, booze. Yes, I love booze. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Okay. <laughs> you don't know which one. Okay. Just tell me, like, do you remember what starter Pokemon you had? Who was your main dude? What are you doing? Oh, it's you guys! Then how come it says I didn't clear this area? I knew I was, I knew I went through here at some point. What the hell? Kamatu is here. Charmander. Your first Pokemon was Char Charmander. So was that Aloha or was that Fire Red? Because 3DS, if I remember correctly, don't have a Game Boy Advance port. Uh, Game Boy uh, Advance cartridge port, I mean. I guess the better question is, was it actually a 3DS game? There's a different type? Huh? Hmm. Were you a, like... Did you do, like, the whole, like, X thing? Like... Were you able to give them, like, a, a super power-up, or a, a, what's it? Oh, played it on mobile. Need something? Need then it must have been Fire Red. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Then this might be a bit of a nostalgia trick for you if you do the Nuzlocke with us. Is a Nuzlocke something you're interested in? This confuse the crap out of me. All the enemies are back. All the booze is back. I'm like, I wasn't actually aware that all this stuff actually respawns, regenerates that. Cool little discoveries. Adds to the replayability, I, I guess, if I want to do the same dungeons over and over again. But that, like, it took... I, I can't believe that I, I didn't realize where I was until I got to Kamatu. I just did this. Well, if your first Pokemon was Charmander and you were playing it on mobile, I'm going to assume that you were playing Fire Red or Leaf Green. Does Leaf Green ring any bells? Possibly yellow version? Oh, 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 fuck. Uh, Fondle! Thank you! Ah! <laughs> 
Oh, I'm out of charge for Dawnbreaker. That's unfortunate. Don't need it. Nature attack? Nature attack? Na nature attack. Now that's not ringing any bells. For mobile, you said. You are able to get a Charmander. It wasn't an emulator, was it? Like an actual... Or it wasn't like a game that... An actual Pokemon licensed game that you bought? Never mind then? Like, not a lot. Like, let's hash this out, bro. We gotta spark some memory here. <laughs> You're just gonna watch Pokemon. You don't have to if you don't want to. We're, we're talking about playing the game, and the games and the anime aren't exactly related. They won't give you much better of an idea. Shouldn't take long. Alright. Yeah, just keep in mind that the games and the show aren't exactly related. They kind of are. Like, they're they're based in the same world. Like, all the gym leaders are the, are the same and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm starting to get a little confused, too, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just go do you, bro. If you want to watch Pokemon, I'm not going to stop you. It's a good show. Especially the original. Kento and Johto is where it's at. <laughs> okay. Gonna... I, I guess I'm going mammoth killing next. Let's see what kind of gems I have on me. Because it might be that these guys just push my shit. I don't have any grands, so I better not. I'm just going to have to sneak in, steal their stuff, and get out of here. It's an experience, bro. Like, you can get into any series, including the modern series, without context of the previous Pokemons, and you'll enjoy it well enough. Like... It's not something where you have to watch the whole thing to understand what's going on. Oh, that's a bandit over there. I'll loot his shit when those elephants are done with it. It was a game. You play it on mobile. I'm gonna have to look into that a little bit. I wasn't aware that you could play Pokemon on a mobile. I think there is, like... I think that you can't... You can buy, like, Pokemon Red or Pokemon Fire Red for the mobile version. Oh, he's going after Fondle. Oh, it's just a greater soul gem, so I'm going to have to help him out. But if this doesn't go well, I'm going to have to run, Shinra. So far, so good. Fondle's, Fondle's being a great tank. Shit. No, this is something I don't want to give up on, actually, so let's go ahead and take a look through the Play Store. Oh, I got a message. Who is this from? Oh, the next Super Smash Fighter is going to be Sephiroth, dude. I don't know if you play Super Smash Brothers, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, but the next DLC character is going to be Sephiroth. Oh, damn. I, I, think, I think the butthurt is going to ensue with that character. Like, how are they going to implement that? Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you can buy either Pokemon Silver or po Pokemon Red. Oh, it's a website where you played it? There's a lot of Pokemon stuff on the phone. Mostly ebooks, movies, and TV shows. What the hell? Is it Pokemon Unite? Pokemon I Home, Pokemon Go. They can't be Pokemon Go because you don't you don't select a starter Pokemon for Pokemon Go. Shit, if you ever get a Nintendo Switch, bro, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I'll make you taste pain I'll make you taste pain with Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> Hold on, now I'm really curious though. 
because Pokemon Silver and Pokemon Red popped up. It looks like they're emulators. Yeah, they're all they're all a bunch of ripped off emulators. There's Yellow Classic. There's Blue and Red. When you go for running and you try Pokemon Go, like, not for a run, but getting out and going on a nice, fast-paced walk is really all you need. That would help out a lot, and Pokemon Go would lend itself more towards that than a run. Because you're going to have to stop pretty frequently. Unless you make it a thing where you, like, sprint from Pokemon to Pokemon. That would actually be good exercise. Yeah, it's a game that you really have to practice at. And you especially think that you're worse if your friend is really, really good at it. I'm guessing it was his game, so he so he was great and he whooped your butt. So don't don't let first impressions fool you. Once you put in some work with a character and you learn the fundamentals of the game, like you'll be surprised at how how fast you get, how good you get, and how quickly you get good. Like, this dude is glitched out. He's going for that fox. No one bests an I'm, I'm just going to watch him for a bit. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, it's one of those games, like, it's easy to get sucked into it. And the people who uh, are good at Super Smash are really, really good at it. Like, they spend an unreasonable amount of time on it. I fought worse than you. All of a sudden, they're looking at tournaments and watching tutorials on YouTube and shit. <laughs> Alright, I'm done watching you. Get in the water. <laughs> What's up with this? <laughs> He's getting attacked by the slaughterfish. Oh, man. I think I'm going to get some target practice on this guy. <laughs> I need to work on my range. Oh, and I'm ass with the bow, man. Yeah, he's pissed at the fish. I'm just gonna let Fondle handle him while I just fill him up. I, I need to get a few archery levels in here. Oopsies. I'll get better at this. Yeah, it's gonna go up pretty quickly, I think. Oops, I think I shot Final. No? Okay, didn't shoot Final. What a shame. I want to get that stitch some stitches. I'm gonna shoot him in the butt. Give him some pricks. <laughs> shoot him in the ding ding. Ha! That went through him? That, I thought I got a shield at least. The shield should have a better hitbox than that. Get a couple of levels off this guy. Because remember guys, I have to 100% everything in this playthrough. Including archery, unfortunately. Even if I'm ass at it. Oh, we got another slaughterfish. Or is that the same slaughterfish? Stupid fish. Dude, how come I'm such a bad shot? It's like point blank range. Yeah, right? I, I seriously can't hit this dude at point blank range. I'm so bad with range. Which is weird because it's like the opposite story for me in Minecraft. I'm way better at the bow and arrow than I am at the sword when I'm playing Minecraft, man. Okay, there we go. Moving on from that. There's a cave. I'm gonna explore it. I like caves. I like dungeons in general. Dungeons usually have loot. And I love loot. And where there's loot, there's boons. Booze? Oh. Oh. Well, Alright. 
That that that's that's inviting. I just stumbled upon something, Sour Patch. Uh, uh, it's unnerving me just a little bit. Like it, it's got it, it's welcoming. Okay, let's go. All right. So that app that you were looking at. Is that exclusively for the PC, or can I download that for the cell phone as well? Because, like, I don't get down on this computer often, and my laptop is in disrepair. Like, the only times that I'm actually down on this gaming PC are when I'm streaming. I heard something. So it's just a bandit camp. Then, then what, what's all the, the half-eaten bodies for if it's just a bandit camp? That's confusing. Mercy's for the week. There we go. Bye bye. I'm gonna go steal everything in this room and let you guys come to me then. I'll see you in pieces. But yeah, I've been looking through them. I, I was just looking through a few of those emulators with Shinra. Because he said that he played a uh, Pokemon game on mobile. And, and his starter Pokemon was Char Charmander. And it, it confused me a little bit. But this dude's got steel plate. That might be an upgrade for my setup. Or at the very least, it's going to be good money to sell it. Oh! Oh! Oh, dude, he wrecked me! The first time he gets a hit on me, he does a kill cam, this son of a bitch! Alright, that's it, I'm going in with a fury. That's the first three, and they noticed me anyway. That was an empty wine bottle. I'll I'll just toss that later. These motherfuckers drank all my loot. Oh, it's time for bed, Shinra. All right, buddy. It was really good hanging with you, man. It was nice having you on, as always. And thank you for the host, man. Always appreciate that. Oops, sorry, Fondle. Oh, I just really threw Fondle out of the bus. Yeah, I'm gonna have to eat another one of these. This is the only chance we got if I can just keep spamming the shit out of power attack like usual. This is my whole playstyle right here. <laughs> it's fun for me to do, I'm not sure if it's fun for you guys to watch. Bandit's journal. What's he doing here? Oh. So they're mammoth poachers. Makes sense. Okay. I'm going to take their armor because steel plate is great. I think it's technically better than uh, the dwarven armor that I'm wearing right now. But my dwarven armor has some pretty good enchantments on it that I won't be able to replace anytime soon. So I'm not gonna switch over to the steel plate just yet. Stop shooting me. Go away. Time to loot all the shit. Loot all the shit. Okay, let's see. Gold. Dope. And stool. Why not? Why not? Bliss rewards a uh, heal and imp stool. I think it is. Uh... I know that imp stool is actually kind of important. It's good for something. I think it's paralyze. I think I, th I think you can get paralyze off of imp stool. And mirror's rot has something to do with damage health. Uh, fly aminata. I think that's like a buff for archery or something. Oh, does this have a sword in it? No, 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 no. It doesn't. Okay. Oh, Ring of Wielding, that's so... Oh, that's much better than the enchantment I have on my other ring. Yeah, let's put that on. Dwarven Boots? Oh. Well, if I had Dwarven Boots, that would complete my setup. Like, my boots give me, like, uh, my steel boots give me plus 40% uh, uh, resist to ice. 
but Dwarven Boots completes my pretty outfit. Decisions, decisions, dude. Am I playing RuneScape or Fashionscape? <laughs> it has a secret entrance. It has a secret entrance back to the front of the cave when it's this small. <laughs> Why not just make me walk back to the entrance? That, that seems kind of silly, don't you think? I'm gonna take the mammoth cheese. Mammoth snow. Why not? Oh, you're good, dude. And he didn't tell me earlier how that thing rode. Is it comfy? Like, better question. Is it better or worse than your last truck? See what my carry weight's at. It's not looking good. Oh, well, I got a lot of shit that I can just hand fondle. Uh, so I think I'm gonna go for it. Oh, okay. So you're just, you're just getting acclimated to it tonight. I got you. Yeah, you might have to let me know in the Discord. I might be playing a little bit in the afternoon. Might be. That's depending on how much the, the girlfriend uses it for uh, her schoolwork and stuff. But uh, Friday is the D&D &D night. What's this place? You look kind of friendly. I'm going to take a dragonfly, so. Oh, you still have sufficient. Okay, I'm going to steal your shit then. Let's see. Needy booze. Oh, I can just take it. Generous guy. About what? Do what? Do what? Who? Is, is it a... Oh, it's a mud crab. <laughs> like, you're a fisherman and you're running from the mud crab? Ugh. You coward. Your ancestors should be ashamed of you. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Yeah, you got it, bro. And how come I... Like, <laughs> it's got a fucking ring. It's got a silver garnet ring I can just take. <laughs> it's the biggest pushover fisherman ever. This guy's nothing but a big sissy pussy. He's a little pussy willow. He's little little pussy willow. <laughs> Look at the pussy. <laughs> Alright, let's go to this cave over here next. Depending on how big it is, I'm either just gonna put it on the map. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, I got distracted. Because this one is easily accessible, and I think I'd have to jump over a few things to get to that cave over there. I like, think that's the path over there. Yeah. And I wanna know what. Oh, oh, oh. Fuck you, rat. Alrighty. I gotta hop along here. Dude, I'm just, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like grinding it out tonight, man. I'm feeling good, I'm awake, I'm lucid, relaxed, happy, like, fuck it, my, I might go for, I might go a little longer this time. Oh, which one is this? Something tells me that this is a bard's college quest. Yeah, this is a Bard's College Quest. Well, it'll be worth my time to charge up Dawnbreaker and actually fill up a few of these gems. Oh man, my attack speed goes down so much when I'm not dual wielding. You know, it would be worth my time, probably, to just enchant the, the glass sword with something minor, and then rename it to something that starts with D, so that would make it easier for me to quick access in my inventory. Just keep everything together. Just starting to get a little bit strategic about this. No, 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 no. Okay, let's go this way. 
Oh god! Fucking ghost! You tricking me? <laughs> Mr. Ghost Man. What do you want me to carry? I think that he might actually equip this when I give him to him, but uh, let's see. Yeah, he just equipped the boots. Uh, I don't want him to take that sh wear the shield. I think his current shield is better. Uh, but let's give him the steel plate armor. No, he didn't wear that good. I'll give him all the helmets and uh, let's give him the shield too. And actually, why not? Let's give him the resist magic shield. Yeah, so he's good. He's putting on the boots, because he only had, like, regular shoes, but he's got everything else. Good, 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 good. He might actually get bonuses in a skill tree for having a full set of light armor, so I'm going to have to get him a pair of scaled boots or something. So I've tried figuring out where to run all the cores for my stuff. Yeah, that sounds like a bitch, dude. It's a good thing you're taking the time to sort that all out right now. Yeah, easily accessible, so you don't have to be reaching or have to take your eyes off the road. Okay, I heard him. I hear a zombie. I don't see zombie. Oh, that spider. I just want to check my gems real quick. Got a few lessers. A lot of pennies. Okay. So I'm going to run with a little bit of a different setup this time around because I need to fill up some gems for Dawn Breaker. Going to be doing a lot of soul trapping today. Gold, iron, okay. Don't really want to collect all that frostbite venom. It's like I know it's like 0.5 to 20. And I, it, it's it's moderately good for my even for my level, but it's just as tedious as can be. Yes, I don't want to deal with it. Uh, let's go, let's go. Nope. Oof. Ow. Got smacked in the head there. Buying game. Speech. Good. Yeah, this is definitely a Bard's College Quest. I might as well go and start the Bard's College Quest as soon as I'm done in here. Now, that's what I don't do often. Oh, I just got... Oh, I'm in a bad spot. Oh, I'm in a bad spot. Okay, Draugr White, that's a common soul, so I need to give my magic a little bit of time to be healed. Okay. It's, it's easy to get turned around in this too. Oh, oh, oh. I think I have empty common gems. I didn't really check. Let me check that real quick. And yeah, eleven of them. Cool, 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 cool beans, bro. I wonder where the saying "cool beans" came from. Does it just sound good, or is it like a reference to something? Cool beans. That sounds like it's a reference to something. the thing. Let, let, let me use the thing. Come on, come on. I should have just used the magic potion, bro. There we go. Give me your soul. Thank you. I'd say I feel bad for him, but, you know, I, I, I'd be lying. Off to the soul, Karen, with you. You worship dragons, and that's your fate. Oh. No, no, no. No, no, no. Dragonborn doesn't go out like a bitch like this. Okay, this is a great time to use a level up. I think now I have 140 magic. I can actually summon flame magic. Not. That's going to be huge. But let's see what I can invest these levels into. Fists of Steel. 
I'm gonna need that for a few of the fights I'm gonna get into later, but I don't need it right now. Ooh, I'm almost at level 80. Hey, G Dog, thank you so much for tuning in and giving me a follow, bro. I really appreciate you. How are you doing tonight, man? And I'm gonna need critical charge. I think I'm gonna save this last perk for level 80. I'm so close, dude. <laughs> Going out to frickin' spiders. Thank you, Fondle. Man, I'm not bad just playing some Skyrim. I'm doing the 100% run, bro. You're on day 7 of my 100% run. Uh, this is vanilla, unmodded. And the goal is to get all the artifacts, all the quests done, explore all the caves, get all the achievements, which is why I have to do it on vanilla. Yeah, bro. Skyrim something you play often? Because, like, for me, like, I've played Skyrim basically ever since it came out, and I've locked thousands of hours into this game with, on my Xbox 360 and my Xbox One. But I've never 100%ed a single playthrough before. My game usually, you know, crashes uh, before I get that far. Too many saves. So I've had to turn off, like, all the autosave features, too. It's been kind of a brutal run. I'm also doing this on Legendary. I, I just put it on Legendary right away when I started, and I haven't turned it off. And it's been great. It's been a lot of fun. Nice, buddy. Do you have the same experience with me? Or do you like playing specific roles? Because, like... I got 100% all the skills, too, but I just came off of a Destruction Mage that only used fire. So, like, getting into dual wielding one-handed is such a refreshing change of pace. No? Just, like, uh, do a general playthroughs? That's also cool, man. I haven't done one of those in so long, it's been a minute. Which is why those playthroughs got me so excited. Soul trap this guy. I need to fill up more of my gems. What are you, a restless? Okay, that's a lesser. Oh! Who's the prick? Man. Blind side, man. That's not friendly. Oh boy, I'm gonna get shot. Uh. Starting to roleplay characters? It does change the experience, and I find that it's a lot of fun. It really, like, helps refresh an old favorite game. Like, I touched a little bit on the, the destruction character that I'm playing through, but like, I had a Dungeons and Dragons character named Larry that I played with all my friends, and uh, he was uh, a pyromancer who couldn't use any other kind of spell, and so I tried to role play as him in my Skyrim character in my Skyrim gameplay, and dude. <laughs> Only limiting yourself to a, to fire at the destruction mage. <laughs> like, I'm getting killed so often. Like, there's so many enemies that are actually more resistant to fire. Like, especially in Solstein. Like, the Ash Spawn. Oh boy. I don't have Foos yet. This is gonna be... This is gonna suck. I'm gonna have to find some way to take this guy out before I keep going, or he's going to... Like, it's either going to be him, or it's going to be these size. I'd rather it be the size. I don't want to get shot by this guy. It looks like, yep, my soul trap's already exploded. Oh boy. But that's also part of the fun, is getting bodied all the time. I can't explain it. But finding difficulty in areas that you'd otherwise had an easy time with is, is also a lot of fun with role-playing specific characters. And really thinking about how your character would interact with certain parts, like what they would do in certain situations, is also a lot of fun in general. Like... Yeah, Red Guards? They're actually so much fun. I think Red Guards uh, 
are probably the best melee characters you can get in the game. Like, as an all-around generalist. Orcs are great for heavy armor and two-hand, and uh, they start out at level 25 and they have accelerated experience for, uh, for two-handed and heavy armor. But I think Red Guards gets accelerated experience for every melee aspect in the game. And all their melee combat start out at 25. Yeah, because while orcs have two-handed and heavy armor, they also have uh, emphasis on smithing. And I can't remember what else. Oh, I hate these scythe areas, especially without boots. <laughs> Fallout is also another favorite of mine, bro. And like this uh, playthrough, because I have to eat a lot of consumables and legendary with dual wielding, uh, just to be viable in certain situations, it reminds me of the melee character I made in Fallout 4. It's where I'm taking a bunch of psycho, <laughs> psycho and psycho buff and buff out, and mentads just to have a viable playthrough. <laughs> Like, just so that I don't get one hit, and I'm able to kill something. It's a lot of fun. Like, whenever I try and do, like, a, a rifleman, I, I just get wrecked, bro. I get bodied long distance. Every time. Oh, that's Draugr's Courage. Oh, boy. I think I can kill him pretty quick, so I'm going to give him the old soul trap. That's a her! How dare I misgender this poor, poor person. Damn it, Piper! Piper, of all people, stealing, stealing your power armor. What's she going to do with it? Finally bust into Diamond City. I can see Kate doing that. But Piper seems so innocent. Oh, got him. Her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Keep misgendering the poor Draugr. Oh. Okay, so I'll, I can just grab this one. You still listening to that song, Black Kitty? <laughs> yeah, Black Kitty's been listening to a lot of... Jeez, I forgot her name. I, I forgot the name to it already. What is that band? It, it's, uh... What the hell is that name? Dude, my poo brain striked again. Like, I just saw you playing this. I just listened to the song with you. How come I can't remember? Oh. Babes, help me. Black Kitty's my girlfriend. Babes, help me. Like, what is it? Please. In this moment. Ah, oh, as soon as I asked for help, I remembered what it was. Damn it. We're gonna kill Ke uh, Krell Kellogg, not Krellog. Why am I thinking Krellog? What? <laughs> oh, Piper! <laughs> oh, Piper! G snatched the armor you wanted. Well, as long as you can get it out of the out of the dungeon, just make her be the tank. Why? Like, when I? Nice, dude. Like, make sure you actually get some good rest tonight, bro. But the first time I killed Kellogg, like, he was wrecking me, man. I didn't have enough drugs to fight him. Like, I'd ran out of all my psycho buff in the dungeon. So, like, eventually, I, uh, think my follower at the time was, uh, the synth. What's his name? The synth reporter. Him. Like, I had him run in, and then I grabbed my, uh, 
my nuke tube. And I just fired all of my nukes into the room and killed them. Alright, it was good having you on today, Sour Patch. Always a pleasure, man. Oh, there's another one. Aha, little do you know, I have frost resistance. Look at my boots, aren't they shiny? That's a good way to get through. Yeah, Nick Valentine, that's it. <laughs> that was a good way to handle it, man. In any Bethesda game, you have to have a good bullet sponge. You need a meat shield, and they gotta be able to take some damage. That's what Fondle's here for, but he got trapped somehow. Damn it, Fondle. You're gonna let me die like this. Oh, there's another one. Oh, they just keep coming. Okay, got that one. Woo! I'm alive. And Nick Valentine. Dude, how come I'm so bad with names? I couldn't remember the band and then I couldn't remember Nick Valentine of all characters. He's like one of the most memorable characters in that game. And, like I said, nuke too, because I can't remember what the name of the gun is. I'm really disappointed in myself right now. It's a big boy, right? No, big boy is a special one that you can buy in, uh, in Diamond City. Fat man. That's it, a fat man. Oh, uh, you stream too? Shit, man, I'll check you out sometime. I want to see some Fallout gameplay. Dude. <laughs> yeah, I might stream Fallout later. I've wanted to revisit that, but I'm not gonna do a hundred percent vanilla run. I think I'm just gonna load up with all the gun with all the gun mods and go from there. Alright, I gotta find the lever in here somewhere. Because the modern rifles mod is just too good, dude. It changes the whole game. I think the Rid of Seal is going to be here. Fallout 76. Now that's one I haven't played. I heard it's gotten kind of better. Like, is there any truth to that? Because I'm aware of its disastrous start. And that it was a rather shallow experience. And I also heard that it received a lot of quality of life updates. Like, do you, th do you think that it would be worth it for a new player to get into Fallout 76? Like, what aspects do you improve? Okay, he's gonna unlock this door. One... Now we're gonna fight Olaf one eye. But before this, I just have to do one... Quick thing. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, I forgot. What, I forgot a small detail. Just imagine social media had a couple of notifications. Okay, there we go. Ready to start. Ruby Dragon Claw is... I gotta just lean into the screen to see this. It's kind of worn out. Like, it's Wolf Eagle Wolf. Man, my eyes are starting to go. NPCs. So they actually put in real NPCs this time. So it's not just the player being the NPC. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't make this go to Eagle. Here we go. That should do it. And a new Brotherhood of Steel quest line. 
In your opinion, do you feel that it's pay to win? Legendary level 5. Hmm. Getting him so early, doesn't that trivialize it a little bit? Oh. Oh, it's this fight. Yeah. I feel you. I, I feel you on that, Fendal. I'm gonna make a new save for this. Oh, mother. Not really. So it kind of balances out. Because I knew when I played Borderlands 3, I was finding the legendary weapons like candy when previously I'd really had to struggle. And the same was true for Destiny 2 when it was first released compared to the original Destiny. Like, legendary weapons were handed out like hotcakes, bro. And, and, and it kind of felt deflating getting the same legendary weapons over and over again. I want those guys to wake up. I want to soul trap a few of these dudes, but, uh, well, I'm gonna risk it. I have a lot. I actually have a lot of magic potions. We'll use armor and weapons starting at the level it says. That helps a little bit. So it is a bit more like uh, Borderlands 3 in that regard, huh? And then you can't hang on the same legendary weapon forever. Eventually you do have to replace it. I can dig it. I can dig it. Like, I found Fallout 76 still going for like 60 bucks, though. On Steam. Is it... Like, 60 bucks is my cyberpunk money. Like, I've been waiting for it to drop in price, but I just haven't seen that happen. It probably goes on sale occasionally, though, right? Great, soul gem. Good, good, good. I think one of these is a death lord. I feel like I Let's get this common soul. I need a recharge on break a little bit. I want to do some enchanting when I get back. Getting a lot of like, like necklaces, rings, that type of thing. You can repair and make it better. Okay, so if you like a weapon, you don't have to get rid of it. That's good. I can dig it. Seventy-six is something that I was genuinely, genuinely curious about for a long time. Ah, thank you, bro. Really appreciate it. I switch between Minecraft and Skyrim. I usually play Minecraft on uh, Mondays and Wednesdays. I play Skyrim on uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays. But starting next week, I'm going to be having a change of schedule. Uh, I'm going to be playing on Monday and Wednesday and on Saturday and Sunday. And I might still be playing in the afternoons on the Tuesday and Thursday, but I'm going to see how that goes. I, I, like, I, I have to start playing earlier in the day. <laughs> playing this late, it's been messing with my sleep schedule lately. Building the camp? Yeah, building was one of my favorite it's parts of Fallout 4. Part. So I'm glad that that's being expanded upon in 76. I'm guessing it's a lot like the building in Fallout 4, right? Or is it a bit different? And it's, if you've joined the Discord, like, we're gonna be having a community game day probably next Saturday. Uh, not this Saturday, but next Saturday. And, uh, our community game days looks like we start off with Among Us. Because we just started this week ago. Finally had enough players who were interested, you know? We start off with Among Us and we might branch out into Counter-Strike Go. Or a Minecraft multiplayer if you have Java Edition. It's like building a Fallout 4. Perfect. I love that building system. Like, that's half of what I did the first time I played Fallout 4, was trying to make the most epic fortresses and castles I could think of. Like, my... Like, my village wasn't complete unless I had, like, 15 turrets. I don't know why I ever needed that many. Uh, 
That's cool. We can make whole villages. Can other players mess with your cities or add on to them? Is there any type of exclusive ownership over it? Or is it like a shared environment? Oh, that was a word for Whirlwind Sprint. Yes! Yes, I can use Whirlwind Sprint now. I haven't done much of the main quest line with this character yet. So this is actually huge, dude. Nice. Oh, that's going in the quick bar. Ooh. Like, bro, you have no idea how happy that makes me. <laughs> okay, so I got the level up, but I like to save those level ups for when I'm about to die. That really comes in clutch there. Ooh, Elven Sword of Scorching. Is it good enough to replace it? No, it's not. Uh, it has a nice enchantment on it. But... Glass Sword's better. Enchantments run out eventually. And I already have to upkeep the enchantments on Dawnguard. On Dawnbreaker, I mean. Probably gonna disenchant the Elven Sword. Ah, well. That's 15 damage a strike, though. That's really not bad. And from the size of, of uh, its enchantment bar, it looks like it has... Gosh. Words, man. It must have... Oh, I didn't know that I got this Ebony Sword. Okay, so I'm gonna select that, deselect that. We're going with the Ebony Sword now. Oh, okay, so it's a rather friendly community. They can, but most of them don't. I like that. That's a good community right there. Is it easier to get into PvP now? Because I heard the previous PvP system is that you would have to shoot somebody and then they would shoot you back and then the PvP match would begin immediately. So, like, it, it would almost always favor the guy that was shooting in retaliation. This is going off of rumors and speculation because that's all I have. <laughs> Uh, 76, even when it went free play, it was one of those games that I wasn't any in any hurry to check out. Like, mostly <laughs> with all of the extra stuff that was going on behind the scenes. Like, the, the Nuka-Cola bottles that turned out to be cheap plastic coverings of real bottles that you couldn't even pour effectively. To, like, those, uh... To those bags. I, I, I think they were advertised as, like actual canvas bags, but then they turned out to be these, like, plastic zipper things. Damn! So they just straight hooked you up. Nice guys. But they can still choose to radio if you want. I like that option. That's really cool, man. Robber's Gorge. All right, let's see if I can wreck these guys. Oh, he came out swinging. He actually got a few hits on me. I remember this camp. I don't remember what's here, but this area rings a bell. Ooh, okay, so they're right next to each other now. That makes a quick selecting these so much better. I have to be quicker than Oh, and I went down. Oh, and because I was getting stabbed in the back by the... Oh, okay, so that was Chief. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Oh, what the heck? I've been alone for so long, I thought I'd never see another soul again. Okay, what's your story? I was like... kidnapped by these bandits weeks ago. Where? They locked Who? me up in Which the towers bandits? in your missed watch. I managed Mistwatch. to kick the lock gotcha. and slip out while the guard slept, but now I'm completely lost. Can you help me, please? Oh, thank you. Like it just ambiguously says that direction. Those bandits have to be stopped. <laughs> it, it doesn't give me the option of directing her to any particular. You right. If you can stop them, I wish I could kind of just throw her out of the bus. It's like, yeah, that that camp down there has friendly NPCs. 
And how come, like, I'm, I'm, I'm over encumbered now? What? Okay. That's really good, dude. Well, as long as it's a more welcoming environment for a new players, then... Damn, I'll get into it. As soon as I can afford it. Because, like I said, my 60 bucks is cyberpunk money. I know that's been really glitchy for a lot of new people. My PC setup? Damn it. <laughs> Bro, why? And then where's the miss one? Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna fa I'm just gonna fast click through this. If you can stop them, you'll be a troop. I'm gonna quick save so I don't have to go through that again. Dude, I just, I just got it. Like, and now I'm stuck at a slow crawl. What is going on? No, <laughs> it, but my carry weight is 415, and once I call the game out on this bullshit, it lets me walk fast again. Gotta love Bethesda, man. Like, they're not bugs, they're not glitches, they're features. It's part of what makes a game the game. I'll check that out, man, because I'm really interested in seeing what, what the gameplay is like for Fallout 76. I want to see this camp building site. I love building castles, forts, that type of thing, man. This is my current favorite activity in, in my Minecraft game. I've been working on this huge medieval castle. I turned that thing into a death trap. I, I've really nerded out on the whole medieval structure and design lately. So I'm thinking I can make some. Like, in an interactable, commu interactable community, I'm thinking I can make a death trap. That'll be a lot of fun. Gunsling Bill. Well, you do you with the pistols, man. I'm gonna stay away from that. I'm, I'm, I'm trash with pistols. I'm trash without just about anything that has a gun. Anything that shoots, I'm horrible at. Whether it's a bow and arrow in Skyrim, whether it's a rifle or the pistol in Fallout. Anything that I can shoot at, I'm trash at. Explosives occasionally. Yeah, grenades, those are fun to lob. I'm also trash with grenades. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm too one dimensional with my gameplay style, man. I'm probably gonna be another drug act, melee berserker. Like, I got this itch, Doc. It just won't go away. Ugh. I can't loot the body? Oh, booze. Another bottle for the collection. I don't know why, I just like collecting stuff. Tundra Kata, that stuff, I'm gonna collect it. Now, I think there's a sleeping bandit chief in here. Oh, not sleeping, awake. Very much awake. And she's got a dagger, but she's gonna break my butt. Maybe I should invest that next point into healing. Oh boy. This is where I die! I'm gonna have to give her the ring around. Oh boy. Where the hell is Fondle when I need him? Fondle! Oh, you're not Fondle. You're definitely not Fondle. Yeah, the Atomic Shop. That's pay to win, right? Like, you have to pay for the Atomic Points, right? Uh, health. Definitely health. Uh, I'm gonna need one-handed. Give me the one-handed. Oh, I have another one. We're gonna go full Bladesman. Oh, wait, what's this? Dual Fleary, what's this one? Ooh! Perfect. Okay. Sorry, I just keep that here. Yes, it is. You're dead. Sorry, Mr. Bandit, but you're dead as hell now. Oh man, I might be dead as hell. 
no, 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 Oh, oh, Fondle! Fondle! Oh, so you actually win them for free. Nice! That's so much better. Dude, where the hell's my follower? I'm so dead without this guy. Oh, that's another bandit. I'm gonna have to give this bandit chief the run around. Here I thought, it's like, with my upgraded power attacks in one hand, and this is going to be cinch! But she's only wielding a dagger. No. Oh my goodness. Alright. So she's over here. I heard him. I heard Fondle. Is she fighting Fondle? Please tell me she's fighting Fondle. But if she is, I have to catch him now while he still has health. Okay, there. Oh, oh, you're going after the Midgard. Okay, there was an arrow that just shot by her. Oh, f oh no 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 no! Yep, there we go. I got her. I think I got her. Yep. Oh. Oh man, you too, bro. I can't wait to see your gameplay. I'm gonna give you a follow as soon as I'm done with this playthrough here because I'm sincere. I want to see some gameplay that. I've been really interested in seeing what Fallout 76 is like, so I'm hoping I get to catch your stream, bro. Thank you so much for tuning in, giving me that follow. Love you, buddy. Have yourself a good night. What do you want me to carry? Okay, I need you to take the steel armor. And he's gonna get over encumbered. You lead, I'll follow. Dude, he's already carrying like three steel plate bodies. I can't help it. I like loot. I like collecting stuff. Speaking of which, what kind of loot you got? Give me all your booze, first of all. Where's your booze? That's not booze. It's healing. I need healing. I used all my healing. Uh, oh. So this goes down there. Chest. Another glass sword. That's not bad. Not bad. Can I sleep here? I can sleep here. Gotta get that well-rested bonus. Oh, and it does auto say when I rest. That's right. That's the only one that I let have. Okay. I don't want the key. Because I want lock picking spear. How did it let me in? Did I already take the key? I guess I must have already taken the key. Okay. I guess that captain lady had a key on her that I already took. Let's see what she has to say, though. Okay. Unless this fighting starts to tear each other apart. Oh, no. Herd's gathering followers for a moon. Oh. So there's friction with this man cat. These guys have names, but that lady up there was just Bandit Chief. Oh, she's skimping off the top. That's not good. Took the boat out tonight and, stu and stowed it on the island to the south by the old tree stump. Ooh, I got myself some gold! Alright, gonna grab the gold. We like gold. Gold is good. Plentiful healing, gonna take that too. Okay, here's the boat. South is that way. So this probably leads out of the cave. Okay. What the hell is this? Okay, that's just a floating hand. Okay. I bet there might be another chest. Like, here's a coin purse right here. What else are we going to find? I'm willing to bet I'm going to find something down here. Yep, here it is, a chest. Man, I really hope that I don't suffocate. You can never tell when you're about to drown in a a game. Never gives you an indication. Fallout 4, yes. Skyrim, no. <laughs> no, never. That's some fat loot right there. Hopefully Fondle has enough carry space for this, so I'm going to take that Dwarven Shield and that. And I'm, I'm just glad that I'm not drowning in here. <laughs> like, I'm still able to swim to the surface over encumbered. 
Maybe that it's not immersive, but you know, I, I'm happy with it. What do you want me to carry? I'm gonna need you to take a couple of things, buddy. Uh, how about you carry this dwarven bow if you'll freaking wield it? And you can't take the ground. Ooh, okay, so I might have to take a potion. Let's have you carry that. Yep, I, it's potion time. It's potion time. I'm gonna have to get out of here quick after I take this thing. I think this is the only potion of strength I have. If I have it anywhere. Where is that thing? I know I stole one of them. Is it draw to strength? Okay, good enough. Lead on. Well, overkill. More like it. Okay. This is directly south. Here's an island. Okay, it looks like she's talking about that island over there in her journal. So after I kill the shit out of this mud crab... And it looks like there's a second mud crab I gotta take care of. But after these guys are done... Then I'll be able to bang out... Oh, that's a slaughterfish. Never mind. Go away, slaughterfish. Just a little tidbit for you guys. If you use a fully charged Fusro Da on the slaughterfish, you can actually knock them out of the water. Looks like Final's taking care of that. Dope. Okay, what's in here? Oh, it's just a chest. <laughs> I got it with a rubber. That's it? She said she was... This broke bitch said she was... Like, she was collecting a stash. I found 17 coins in there. Skimming a little off the top over the... Now and then, indeed. Like, what's a little? Like, a single coin? One coin, two coins here and there? This broke bitch... I'm offended. I'm robbing her and I'm offended. <laughs> is is that your regard for me? Such a pathetic tribute? How dare you? I'm gonna have to go to Riften to unload all this. It does have way too much. I need a few vendors. What time is it? Oh, 4.53. Going to give it a three hour wait here. Just give them all a little bit of time. They'll, they'll have plenty of time to make it to their stalls before I can ever hobble my ass over there. Oh, you caught me mid-shout? Seriously? Oh, go away. I'm sure you do. Stupid guards. I'm gonna have to help out Shadier in a little bit, but uh, I'm not really tight with Sapphire yet. So after I'm tight with Sapphire, I think we're gonna talk to her about it. My speech isn't that high either, so I don't think I'll be able to persuade her anytime soon. Okay, just gotta <laughs> hobble my happy ass over to Grelka. Grelka, where are you? Oh, there she is. Will you sell to me here? Damn it. Come back when you're ready to spend more gold. Okay, so I, I guess I'll just meet you there. I'm definitely not the one who stole from you, by the way. Definitely not. You, like, uh, you, you can trust me 100%. I, I'm, I'm an innocent. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pure soul. I would never steal from you. I, I, I don't like fat loot. <laughs> I might have stolen from you a little bit, Grelka. I'm sorry. I'm not really sorry. I just say that reflexively. Let me take all that from you, Fondle. Uh, I want you to wear those, not the steel plates. So, yeah, we're going to take one of those away. Why did you switch out your scaled bracers for those steel plate? I thought you spec in the light. Like, I understand why you're wearing the steel plate helmet and the steel plate boots, but, like, why the gauntlets? Fondle, you're a horrible follower. Are you buy something? <laughs> I, I, I really need a new follower, man. Just what you see here. Really? Okay. Just what she sees there. Hey, okay, dwarven boots. Let's get rid of those. I gotta keep the shield still. Why am I even keeping the shield? I'm not using the shield in combat. Like, I'm so spoiled. I don't know if I'm ever gonna use the shield. I'll get rid of that from now until I have a better shield. I'm not ready to use it yet. Uh, let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. I think that's a new enchantment for me. I can't be sure. I'm going to keep it just in case. Uh, steel helmet. Let's get rid of those. Let's get rid of one of these. How much else can I get rid of? Uh, 
Come back when you're you not that lucky, Grelka. I'm sorry. And I'm gonna get some better prices for this next sale. I want to put on my thieves' guild armor real quick. Oh my, I have a lot of carry weight. Hello. Damn right, put some respect on my name. Come to see Balaman perform miracles. The what have we got for sale? What have you got for sale? Alright, gotta get rid of... Oh, I still need to put away all the gauntlet stuff. I need to put away all the old god stuff. Next time I'm over at my house, I have to do that. <laughs> I keep forgetting to. <laughs> I say, next time, next time, I never do it. I'm gonna do it this time, I promise. Pinky promise. Pinky swear. Give me that. Uh, elephant maze. Like that, and that. And uh, a little bit of that. Oh, fuck. Already. Okay. Ah, thou thinks I was a bit too hasty in my unloading. If you need any more smithing work, come see. What's my carry weight on? Okay, I can take. I can take that dink sword. Let's go. Hey, watch it. I'm gonna play delivery boy for this asshole. Where? Where is he? What's his name? Spoiled rich kid. That's his name. Spoiled rich kid. Where's he at? Oh. Who are you? Hello. Did we have an appointment? No. Go away. No. <laughs> Was it delivery? I can't. Uh, let's see here. The gloves of the pugilist. Um. Yep. Here we go. Now. I'm not ready to give that up yet. But then again. That won't work with my steel fist. So let's do it. I am ready to get her up. I was lying. To myself, mostly. But uh, while I'm over here, I might as well put a few choice enchantments on these. I think Soul Trap is a, uh, is a valuable one. Stamina damage actually sells for more, though. Uh, absorb stamina. Less than stamina damage. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to throw on probably the. Ah, let's go with greater. I want to get a lot of money for this thing. Yeah, let's go for greater. Hold on. As long as I'm doing this, do I have an extra perk point? I do not. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing this. Hopefully I can get enough levels here. I, I have a lot of shit to enchant. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of both of these glass swords, so I might as well enchant them both. We're gonna go for stamina damage for each. Just maximize my gains here. I think petty soul gems is gonna be the way to go for weapons. Just remembering all these rules of thumb now. But, uh... Oh, how come I can't... This game... Oh. My controller died. <laughs> You know, this was a better place for my this was a better place for my controller to die than in combat. <laughs> it would have been really bad if my controller had died while I was in that bandit camp. And this is a nice place to let it recharge too. Oh, I am lucky tonight, my guys. I am really lucky. Okay. Turn it on, then plug it in. That's the way to go. Okay, Iron Sword. Yeah, why not? Let's give that an enchantment, too. Stamina damage. I'm going to have to start enchanting every piece of armor that I'm about to sell, because I actually want to keep all of my jewelry. I'm a bit of a greedy bitch, and I like collecting stuff. Sue me. <laughs> That's seriously the reason. I'm unapologetic on that front, guys. For anybody just tuning into the channel, I am never going to apologize for being a greedy bitch. I apologize for a lot of things. Reflexively, it's like a defense mechanism. But I'm never going to apologize for being a, being a greedy little bitch. It, it's one of my calling cards, alright? If I wasn't greedy, it wouldn't be me. I think I'm going to go ahead and put... This might be a mistake. But I'm going to put Soul Trap on my bow. This might be a mistake. This could get bad. But I'm going to use the Black Soul Gem. Unless I can come up with... Because, like, while I might be greedy, I still need necessary enchantments, right? So let's see. I like the uh, fortified stamina that I have on my necklace. But maybe I want... No, I can only get 11 points on um, magic of regeneration. No, that's not really what I'm going for. No, 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 no. That's not, for, that's not good either. All this is just not looking good. Fortified... Oh, God. It's all crap. My archery... My... My, encha my enchantment level is just not good enough to put in on any kind of meaningful enchantment yet. But I think what I could do 
is uh, just put fire damage onto my sword here. It'll complement uh, Dawnbreaker pretty well. So let's get that out of the way. And I think that's it for now. I think the next step is going to be to go and blacksmith a shit ton of iron daggers and then enchant all of those and sell them for a lot of cash. I don't really have anything that I can sell or do I? Because I didn't enchant any of that jewelry because I don't want to. Oh, actually, I can sell you the Adept Rose Conjuration, but you don't really have enough money to buy it. So, what are you looking at for restoration books? Can I get clothes, wounds? No. Can I get... He Here's Healing Hands. That, I believe, is a, uh, a novice spell, but what is the apprentice spell for healing other? Is it just heal other? I don't want to use wards. I'm not interested in turning undead. I don't like making my opponents flee because, you know, I, I like killing them. But let's see here. Am I going to do fast healing, conjure, call... I don't, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do, guys. I think... What looks good? What looks good? I'm at a loss! I don't know what to do. Ice storms? Ice storms? Ice storms. Ice storms is a really good spell. No, I'm gonna resist. Uh, let's see, let's get gems. A couple of these grand soul gems so that next time I'm staring at those elephants, like, I can actually take them. Because uh, I don't like killing mammoths without putting them in grand soul gems. I feel like that's a waste. Mammoths are one of the few enemies in the game that you can just find, like, without leveling, uh, that you can actually get a grand soul from. Tips and tricks. More than that. Uh, greater Soul Gems, I don't have as much of a problem with that. I, I never specifically look for Greater Soul Gems. But I think as long as I'm enchanting, now is a good time to start, like, bolstering my reserves. Now that I'm really getting into thieving, I'm getting higher level drops. Now is a good time to start investing into the Grand Soul Gem pile. Uh, let's see. I'm. She might be walking away with more than she had before. She might have got me on this one, guys. Yeah, there's nothing else that I can really sell to her that she wants. She doesn't even want my soul gem shards. Aren't you an elitist? Okay, fine, fine, fine. Don't take my shards. To remember. I'm gonna take your booze, though. Am I gonna take your booze? Looks like I'm not gonna take the booze right now. now. Too many people watching. I'm gonna have to become friendly with this hold before I can take all the booze. Out of my way. The son of the Yarl has no time for Oh, it's this guy! I've been looking for you, you prick. If you must know. I was practicing in the yard when the guard I was I hate this guy. When I specifically told him it's easy to hate him. My Doesn't he sound like such a douche? The stonework next to the keep and needed I'm the repairs. son of the Jarl, out of my way. But is he the Jarl? In fact, if you'd fetch my blade from him, I'd be most appreciative. Thank you. Do hurry, please. Like, what are these guys got to rest their laurels on? That isn't the achievements of their ancestors. Fuck hereditary hierarchy. Now, if you'll excuse me. He actually has more valid reason for hating strangers. Because he's afraid that uh, there are imperial assassins being uh, sent to kill him and his family. It's reasonable. Looking for you. Got something I'm supposed but he's to still an annoying prick, and I hate him. Only. Let's see here. A letter. Not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just uh -oh. that he was a friend of yours. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Looks like I'm being directed to a word of power. Let's read this letter from a friend, huh? Here we go. Lost Valley Redoubt. That sounds like a Markarth area. Should be marked on the map. It's going to be a tower of some kind. This is Mistwatch right here. That's going to be a fun quest line to do in a little bit. Uh, I'm not quite strong enough for Mistwatch, but I'm getting there. There's Broken Tower Redoubt. Arc Thumps. I'm going to have to go there. I'm going to have to go everywhere, but I want to go there. To clarify that. Uh, Shimmer Set. Why is that? Why is that marked up on that? Like, seriously, this place should have already been marked on my map. Did I, did I do it? Did I complete this level? And... Because it sounds somewhat familiar? Huh. I'm not going to read into it too much. I don't really care. <laughs> I'm going to be totally honest. I don't, I don't care. I wasn't going to do it anyway. I don't know why I was investing any of my time or attention into it. <laughs> I'm rather fickle in that regard. And uh, I guess these are pointing to the exit because I still have the uh, 
the thing. Come on in, take like, a look around. Welcome. Some may call this junk. Me, I call it I treasures. Call <laughs> okay, whatever. You can call it whatever you want as long as you pay me money for the shit I'm about to give you. Uh, yeah. Oh boy, already out. Yeah, you can have this piece of shit. For free, I guess. Uh, do you have any grants? Nope. Should have probably asked that before. Yes, you do. I'm gonna take that full one. I'm gonna start stocking up on them. Full and empty, I don't give a shit. It'd almost be preferable if I found them full. But I need to work on my conjuration, too. Like, I don't want to just cheese, uh... I don't want to just cheese it and cast Soul Trap on Shadowmere over and over again. Like, there's some, like, illusion that I might have to. Because it's just so tedious otherwise. Now, that's actually a spell that I could go and buy from that lady. There is a thought. There is a thought. That would be a good use of my money. All right, then. I have all sorts of interesting items for Well, before I go back to her, do you have Muffle? I'd rather buy books from you. Because then I can sell my uh, weapons to you. Nothing, huh? Wabajack, that's going to be a fun one to get. Cure disease, don't need that. Well, I do need that, actually. Just in case I... Like, I've been fighting a lot of vampires lately. Just in case I get to fight another one of those... Those bloodsuckers. Those leeches. I might want to have that potion to cure disease on me. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. He doesn't really have anything more interesting than that. So I, I guess this is where we part ways, am I not, friend? Hi. But before that, excuse me, I'm going to steal your shit. It's not enough that I broke your pot, now I'm going to steal your dreams. And all your hard-earned money. It belongs to me. Oh, hello. <laughs> Society of Mercantile Freedom and Riften. I wish that Bethesda had expanded on this quest line. I don't think there's actually a way to take down the Thieves Guild, but it looks like it was being set up in uh, Elder Scrolls V so that you actually could turn in Brynjolf and take down the Thieves Guild. At least, that's what it appears on the surface. But, it, unfortunately, it never seems to have been expanded upon. And I, I would have like to have seen that. I'm not sure if I would have actually done it, but I would have liked the option, you know? That would have been a cool thing. Like, I li like, you probably noticed this, I like stealing too much. Like, all the loot in Skyrim belongs to me, bro. And I gotta have a, I have a, have a good way to, like, fence it. I need Tanilla. And I need her to have four grand. So I'm gonna be doing all the Thieves Guild Radiant quests, too. That's definitely gonna be a thing. For anything to sell for a fair price. I run the pawn brawn over by the bar. What a generous guy. I'm gonna steal your booze, friend. For a fair price, I'm gonna steal your booze. And I'm gonna take your potion of healing too, and this potion to resist fire might come in handy. Because dragons are still kinda wrecking me a bit. Yeah, then I'm just gonna pick this up. Set it down. Take you wine. Thank you. And as long as I'm at it, I'm gonna take this Nord <laughs> mead right here. He never once even tells me to put it down. I think he's just scared of me because I broke his pot. Then I'm going to take your iron ingots, too. Thank you. Hi. Let's get out of here. I just unload a couple of useless, like, shittily enchanted weapons on him. Oh, no! I'm just being a ruthless prick in this playthrough. Nothing wrong with being a ruthless prick. At least, I don't My think so. My food is the best in all of Skyrim. Always as fresh as the day it was collected. Let's get it. I haven't actually unlocked the quick access yet. I didn't go through that way. I think I have access to it, but I... Hmm. Well, let's see. I, I, did I go through that area? I don't know. My memory is so bad, dude. I took too many shots while I was boxing, man. I gotta get my head examined. Like, not psychologically speaking, like physically. <laughs> I might have some brain damage. But let's get it. Let's keep going, man. I got some stuff I need to unload. And then I'm not ready to put the controller down yet. I'm on a good groove. Well, welcome to the cozy little... 
Why don't you take a look at some of my merchandise? And I'm gonna swing by Windhelm again to get my uh, pickpocketing up. That's one of the few skills that I'm gonna allow myself to actually pay for. Because again, I'm, I'm I, I can't use exploits in the game, and I do think the quick saving before you pickpocket is an exploit. So let's get rid of this one, that one, this one. Let's get rid of you. You know what? I like you. Not give away my disenchantment like. Not give away this like you, but like, cut you, cut you a break. You got a little extra something, something. Do you have prolonged invisibility? That's a bit of a ripoff. Like I don't need to be invisible for like fifty seconds. Like five seconds would be fine. Arcing, draining, but it doesn't absorb, and I would have loved that. Do you have anything that absorbs health? I could really use an absorbed health sword. Frost damage? No, I have way too many of those. Ah, uh, Tanilla, you ain't got shit that I want. Too bad, girl. This is the end of our business. All eyes are on you, lad. Don't disappoint us. And I'm gonna have to steal all the booze in this cave. Let's go. All eyes are on you. Give me this. Don't disappoint us. I'm gonna disappoint you a little bit by stealing all your booze. Hope you don't mind. I might, probably mind a little bit. Or that might be impressed. I'm a good thief. Stealing on the thieves' booze without getting caught. That's what I call an achievement. I might as well. Pull up a seat. I might as well, man. What's that so with me? If they pay to have my ass kicked, then it is what it is. How? Who can see me from here? How can any of you see me? I refuse to. I refuse to believe that you can see me if I'm right here. Is it like through the slats? Is it this bitch? If I take off all my armor, would that help? No, I'm wearing the Thieves Guild armor, so that improves my sneaking. The, the, no, it doesn't, but still, like, what? Oh, that's not cool. What do you need? Wait there. Okay, got it. Get off my booze. Anything else? No, it's one thing to say you've got the skills to be a thief. Oh, I do. See this bottle? Where's it going? It's disappearing, y'all! But don't worry. I'm using all my skills as a thief. Oh, I'm, I'm going the wrong way. I'm not ready to go with the bolts yet. Plus, Fend Fendal here is a fucking berserker. He'll kill that crazy lady. And I like to spare her. I'm gonna come in here without a follower. Welcome to the cozy little family. I'm one of the look Great to be in the family, lady. Give me your boots. I don't think they actually care if you steal one or two things from the from the tavern. It's like they they say it's like, "Oh, what are you doing? You, you could have just asked." Uh, but if you steal more than like twice, then they do get angry at you at aggro and uh, they kick you out, I think. You can actually get kicked out from the thieves guild and have to pay. That's always been a feature in these other school games, though. Alright. What's your something All the man, right? Veckle the man. Don't he's got a bedroom. He's got a bedroom. And he's got booze in that bedroom. So I'm gonna steal everything in it. Here we go. <sighs> Not j just a bottle of Alto wine and a coin purse, really. You broke bastard. They don't pay you shit, do they? Now I kinda feel bad, like damn. I don't want to be stealing from the. I don't want to be stealing from the poor. No, that was a lie. I, I don't actually care. <laughs> I'd rather steal for the rich because I have more money. I'm gonna take the black briar reserve. At least I'm honest about it, right? Like I don't give a shit. Just give me more money. I'll tell wine fine with me. I'm not gonna sell those though. I don't know, there's something about the guild armor that I just don't want to disrespect. Uh, let's take the mead, the alto wine. What's in this chest? Take the potions too? Fuck it, minute? good money. What no, I don't have a minute, go away. Good bad. money, good money. Water breathing, elixir of water breathing, at that. Okay. 
Come here a second. I don't feel like listening to any of these guys' sad stories, but what's eyes open? Yeah, Sapphire, she, uh, she has a sad history. I I'm, I'm not ready to delve into that yet. I guess you're not going to be missing the South Hill wine, are you? Nah, you're good. And fuck Mercer, by the way, he's an asshole. <laughs> For anybody who doesn't know Mercer's story, he's a prick. Let's take the wine. Man. Twitch, what the hell? Are you glitching out again? Yeah, I can't be seen doing this, I don't think. I, I don't think, like, they care. But it's like part of the training. It's like if any of the members catch you stealing from it, then they're, they're going to say something. What's in the guild chest here? Ooh, getting so much booze, man. I'm happy. But you don't need any of these arrows, do you? Let her fly, man. I'm going to take that one, too. Let her fly. Nope, okay. He waited until I was gone. He's like, this asshole's gonna take my arrow if I... Oh. 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 Okay, just checking, making sure everything is running smoothly in the background here. Gotta do that every so, every so often. <laughs> it's butter. Damn, butter is still grinding. That's how he's been getting all these new followers lately. Gotta admire it. But I'm not ready to quit either, buddy. Oh, I missed the bottle. No word yet. This is Rune, yeah. Like, Rune's story, I haven't really finished. Yeah. I think it's expanded upon just a little bit. Like, you can find his origin story in here. Or maybe not. But it's never something that I've discovered for myself. So I'm that's something I'm gonna to attempt to figure out while I'm doing this playthrough. I wanna find out what's up with Rune, what his story is, why he's doing the thing. But that's gonna be for another stream, another day. Hmm. Uh, what should I do now? I've looted everything in this. Oh, yeah, Radiant Quest. Let's do them. Uh, clear. Windhelm. And. Oh. <laughs> the new Nessus. Oh, those poor bastards. They're so broke already. I have a heart somewhere in here. And if it doesn't feel guilty, but it twinges a bit. Let's just say that. Uh. From the stables in Solitude and the new Nessus Club in Windhelm. Okay. Oh, let's screw over these couple of businesses. Like, down with the corporations, but, like, I, I don't like hounded on the small mom and pop stores. I guess they're all small mom and pop stores in Skyrim, except for, like, the New East Empire Company. Be careful. But I'm never. I've never been assigned to steal from the East Empire Company. I don't know if that's actually a thing. Oh, there was Saji. You've seen how we live? Cramped alleys, run-down buildings, you guard more. patrols. Naranye. Hello. I like to share my good fortune with those who deserve All I ask, with your help, we have a chance to make a better life for ourselves here. For that, I thank you. I feel so bad stealing from them. I'm not even here to steal from their strong box. I'm here to change their numbers, but I'm going to steal from their strong box anyway. <laughs> I just like money. I like loot. That's an easy 300 coins, man. And while I'm up here, you know what time it is. Man, I've been getting so much boost lately, it makes me happy. Before anybody comes up, take all that. And we're still clear. Fondle, I know you don't like this. And I don't give a shit. I'm gonna replace you. I don't care what you think of me. Fuck you, Fondle. 
<laughs> I hate this follower so much. I loved Fondle at the beginning of the stream. But <laughs> he's never where I need him. He doesn't use his bow except in the weirdest of occasions. Usually when it's just like a bandit chief or something and they're pushing my shit in. <laughs> like, all around Fondle has, like, been a really half-assed follower <laughs> that throws me under the bus on any occasion. So I'm, I'm gonna need a follower that simultaneously gives more of a shit and less of a shit. But I also like having a ranger. Because I'm obviously a DPS. And I need someone to draw the long distance game. Someone better than Fondle, though. But bows are kind of finicky for followers in Skyrim. Like, I've noticed that followers prefer to use their own bows. Which is kind of a bad thing. If you're looking to get a drink, Candlehurt Hall's got warm fires and strong ale. Then what are you doing in here? Oh, splendid. So you broke, huh? Put that down. No. Give me my booze. Just cause you'd had that tone of voice with me, I don't care about your woes anymore. Give me all your booze. You can send your thugs after me if you want. But I'm gonna be too drunk to care. Except that I won't be, because I can't drink any of these, because I'm collecting them. A little bit of a roundabout thing to say there. Give me your booze. My booze. Fondle! Do you hate the Dark Elves? Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? I'm gonna sacrifice my Fondle on the altar at Boethia. I've decided. That's what I'm gonna do with Fondle. I don't love him. It's time to go. <laughs> what are you doing that for? I'm, I'm stealing from you. What does it look like? Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? No. Stay here. Generate more booze for me. I'm gonna steal that too. And refill your coffers every so often. If I get a radiant quest of here to loot your strong box, I want some coins to be in there too. What are you doing that for? To steal it! Dense ass NPCs. Huh? What do you got to say for yourself? The cold I thought the gray quarter would be a haven for Mike. You might as well listen to what these guys got to say. I don't think about returning to the ancestral home. Of... Still, even with the rough treatment we've had at the hands of Ulfric and his lot, we've got ties here. It's probably more trouble to pack up and leave than it is to stay. Besides, I don't think he's going to give me any quest. I'm on going to own. return to Morrowind in high style. Where else would we be? When the Red Mountain burnt, I get Windhelm it. was the first city on that road. If we had known the Nords would be so unwelcoming, we may have kept walking. Yeah, you should have gone to Solitude, honestly. None of that matters to me. Until someone takes a Dunmer, I'll let Windhelm deal with its own problems. <laughs> Cold. Okay. Well, you see where we have to live. This forgotten alley. All the filth from the upper quarters flows downhill, what they say. Good luck getting one of the guards to help with anything. I'll try to get Ulfric to even come down here to see the squalor, but the High Lord of his Mightiness couldn't find the time. Yeah. Yeah, Ulfric is cool and all, but he's also a bit of a racist prick. I don't drive for that, man. If you need another drink, I'll be right here. I travel more. Oh, my Who goodness. wants to deal with all this? Speak quickly. It was difficult at first. The Nords of this city are at best. She's got chapped lips. Damn. Outsiders. I wish I could zoom in and show you guys. Time, I made the right friends and proved myself oh, look at that. Like, fuck, she needs some chapstick. Anymore. She looks old and haggard. And look at those. The way truly My God, her so laugh lines look like a mustache. I bet she dyed her hair. Until next time. Jesus Christ, lady. Now, my lips feel dry. Make it quick. Make me feel like dry lip having ass. Damn it. I think that other elf went upstairs for bed. He sleep here. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah, yep, 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 I already talked to you. Time to get out of here. 
None of them had the, any kind of side questage going on for me. I like to share my good fortune with those who deserve it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> part of his dialogue is that he likes to get drunk and go down to Great Quarter and yell in the alley. <laughs> I'm gonna fight him. You. You a dark elf lover? Don't like it? Too bad. This is our city. Ours. Don't think I can take you. I'll whoop your ass. Let's go. I can punch you back where you came from. I'll whoop your fucking ass. Right. Let's go. Fists only. I'm gonna cheese it just a little bit. I need to make more of this. This is gonna be my last one. None of that magic stuff either. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Come on. Oh, hurts. I gotta whoop your fucking ass. Let's go, Stone Fist. Shut up, Fondle. You return the feed the kittens. Well, you're right. Are they giving you the business? Poor little guys. Can't have that. Need to feed our boys. You won't get the best of me. Oh, that's gotta be adorable. I love those guys. I especially love it when Louie is asking for foods. Because when Kinsey wants food, he just meows incessantly over and over. But when Louie wants food, like, he'll do the nose rubs. Like, he'll hop up onto your lap. And he'll start purring. And he'll want cuddles and pets. Like, he's overall, like, significantly more affectionate when he's hungry. That's something I've been noticing lately. Out you go! Night night! Tough nuts, bitch. Give me my money. Here. Damn right, here. Okay, let's go. Whew. Yes, he does. The kins, you mean? And he always does that while we're in the like when we're in the kitchen especially. If he wants food, like he he loves begging for scraps even if he knows it's not his dinner time. I don't know, I'm I'm feeling it tonight. I might keep going, I might not. I could take a break. I could take a break and go up there real quick. Put the put the stream on standby and then come back. I actually had a new follower tonight for the first time in like half a week. Oh, so it's been a good day. Let me quick save. I'm gonna try this be right back screen. But I wanna check analytics real quick. Two point six on average a day, yeah, that sounds about right. One point had six point three, but that's about it, yeah, yeah, it's been a slow day. Yeah, I'm not really anticipating that this is gonna get much better. I guess it's time to call it. Yeah. Hold on a second, let me shut the game down properly. And I'll be right up. Oh hi Louie, we're just talking about you, buddy. Ah, uh, it was a good run so far. Got a lot done today. Didn't die too much. Starting to make a lot more money now. Even my enchanting level is getting up there. Oh, and to finish off the game. Where's Silda the Unseen? Hilda the Unseen. Because I need to buy some pickpocketing levels from Hilda real quick. I think she's up by the Windhelm Gates, but I don't care. This should make her fast travel me. There's Fondle. Hilda should be here any minute. She's gonna get out of the... Like, I don't even know if she has, like, a place to sleep. 
but if she's on her way, I should be able to fast travel one more time, and this should, like, bring her to the fire here. And if she's not at the fire here, then she's gonna be over in front of the castle itself. If you can even call this a castle. Keep is a better word for it. I mean, it looks somewhat defensible. With these big open gates, like... Mm. I'm gonna have to evaluate these uh, these keeps critically as defensive positions at some point. You were just asked about your question? Which question is that? And where the fuck is Hilda, for that matter? Because that'll be a great way to finish this off, is to buy those pickpocketing levels. Jeremy's a fine house. It's up to say You should talk to the steward in the keep. Okay, lady, where are ya? Where are you? <laughs> Hilda? Hilda? You broke ho! Hilda! Once honored? Nope, you're not the homeless person I want. What are you kidding? <laughs> oh, shit. Real soon, I promise. There she is. As soon as I find this lady here. Another one. Up to no good, are we? I already did this level. I'll teach you. That should be one of the most recent quests that I did. Hmm, no it's not. Okay, I'm getting this confused with my destruction level. I get it. Hold it there. Keep your distance. So I'm starting to blow on the ice now? It's always the same. Young girl. I'll be cheeky about it. There's a war going on. If you hadn't heard. Uh but Louis Bagan is cute. If you want to help, I'm going to examine the body before the rats can get to it. Okay. Hold it. I guess. Next time I get on, Keep your distance. I'm going to be starting Blood but on the Ice. Supper. But for now, that's it for the day. I could keep going with this. I, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it. I really am. This has been a good day so far. But uh, I got responsive burritos, and I need to start chilling now. And the girlfriend wants cuddles. So... All things considered, this is a great time for me to quit. Thank you all so much for anybody who's been tuned, anybody who's tuned in today. Thank you so much, G Dog. Thank you for the follow, my guy. Like, as soon as I quit here, let me do this right now. I said I was gonna follow you because I want to see some Fallout 76 gameplay. So let's click you. <laughs> I like the glasses, man. 56 small followers, another small guy like me. We'll help each other out. Battlefield 1, a lot of Battlefield 1, Fallout 4, okay. More of that tomorrow, whenever you're streaming. And I'm really hoping that you do stream some of that Fallout 4. Uh, Fallout 76, I mean. But for tonight, that is it. Uh, Saturday. I don't really have shit planned for Saturday. Uh, every other Saturday is looking like our community game day. If any of you guys feel like playing Among Us, uh, just let me know in the Discord. I'll pose a question, but I'm thinking that it would probably be better if uh, we just did it every other weekend. Uh, schedules permitting. Uh, hmm. I have to get a hold of Shenanigan, and I really want to see what his availability is going to be because Shenanigan, and if you're watching this, like I want you to be in that game with us, bro. More the merrier, and it's been a lot of fun, and I think that you would have a lot to offer for Among Us, bro. Ah, Saturday, it's going to be a wild card. It's either going to be Skyrim or it's going to be Minecraft. Probably one of the two. I'm not certain if I'm going to have Cyberpunk 2077, but if I do have Cyberpunk 2077, it's going to be that. 
I wasn't kidding. I want to see gameplay for this. But more importantly, I want to see how much of a buggy mess this is going to be because I'm in the mood to roast. I can't wait to play this thing. I can't play. To, I can't wait to show it to you guys. And it might be the game that my girlfriend starts her streaming career on. So we'll see. But this has been Dr. Greenstone. It's been another wonderful night with you guys. I love you all. And I hope to see y'all next time I hop on Saturday night. Peace, guys. Make sure you have a good night. Sleep well.